shit, gamers! What's up? Whoa, look at that. We got... Ooh, this music goes hard, gamers. Beep, 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 beep! I just went to no copyright sounds and I clicked the first <laughs> playlist. The thing about it... I don't know, whatever. Super Rocker thing! Super Rocker, thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> Pippa might involved my mom telling me about how she's a sugar mama <laughs> for her Uber driver and ended her nine year dry spell. What? What? Terry Jay Jacobson, then come big beep beep. Tara, then we're coming up big beep beep. 2023 is the year of the film. Zodiac Slayer, then come big beep beep. Then the Riverine, then you're five dollars. Alright, what the hell are you here to inflict on us this time, Rabbit? Everything. I don't know. It's a blow boy thing come to be be in. What's your apples to do thing with the one forty nine? Okay, chat, hold on. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Yo! Did you take a better job? No, I just I just, I'm just not awake. <laughs> okay, listen to this, chat. <laughs> ah, baby. <laughs> Hi. Okay. So we've got some room temperature cherry Pepsi. The vibe has been set. We are going to go. To grab to go what I need. We are gonna go. To Reddit. That's right, gamers. We're going to Reddit. Okay, listen. I started watching I started watching this guy called Northern Lion. And he was doing this. And I was like, wow, this is so fucking stupid. Oh my god. And I was enjoying just listening to him. And then when he... He got to this one. He got to this one. Where he just went off on them. Because like, for the most part, you know, like, it, it, it was pretty... It was like... The ones that was reacting, they were very like, chill, you know? They were like, yeah, you know what? You, you are the asshole. Everybody can agree here. You guys are the asshole. But then there was this one that was just completely fucking unhinged! It was so fucking stupid! It was like, it was like, oh my god, I, I don't, I don't have the exact one. I don't have the exact one. But it was like, this woman was like, am I the asshole? I went off on my husband because I left my keys in my locker at work and I tried calling him and he didn't pick up the phone because he was asleep and he left his phone on silent. So when I called him 50 times, he had no idea. And I went off on him. And he's saying that I'm the bad guy for going off on him and reacting like that. But actually, he's the scumbag, right? And then, like, the comments are like, Oh, yeah, he's the asshole. You could have fucking died. You could have you been dead. Somebody, you were in a dangerous situation and he wasn't there. Oh, my God, that's so fucked up. And I'm just sitting there and Northern Lions sitting there and he's like, What? How? How? And that's when I decided I also had to read these. <laughs> that is when I decided I also had to fucking read these because holy shit, it's just so stupid. Everyone's going off on the guy and then there was this another fucking woman responding and she was like, oh my god, yeah, he is absolutely the asshole. My husband went on a hiking trip and he didn't leave his phone on and so, or he, he stayed at camp for too long and there was no reception. So when I got food poisoning and I was in the hospital, I had to send the sheriff out to go find him. And the sheriff really told him what's for, you know, the sheriff was like, oh, well, your wife could have died. And, and it's like, it's just, it's food poisoning. What do you mean she could have died? It's food poisoning. You people are unhinged! You fucking people are so unhinged! I don't understand! I don't understand. She 100% fucked the sheriff. Oh my god. It's so... I just don't get it. I just don't get it. So I want to read some of these. And we... We can... We can vote together. We can vote together on these. And we can come to the conclusion whether or not the people actually are assholes or if Reddit is just fucking psychotic. <sighs> ah, okay. Let's start off with the first one. 
Am I the asshole for kicking my fiance out while I breastfed our baby and making his mother tell him off? 90% of these are gonna be bait. I'm just gonna say, 90% before we even read this one. 90% of these are going to be bait. And I'm gonna run polls at the end to see like what you guys think. Okay. My fiancé and I ended our engagement early on in my pregnancy, but we got back together a week before our baby was born. That's a great start. That is, that, that's how you know a relationship is strong. You're off to a great start right out of the gate. Our daughter is three weeks old. <laughs> our daughter is three weeks old and we just recently got back together. Now I'm going on Reddit to complain about him. Sorry, anyways, um, and I don't like breastfeeding in front of people as I'm self-conscious, but I used to let my fiancé stay in the same room. A few days ago, though, I kicked him out and banned him from being in the same room as me while I fed our daughter because he made a comment about how my boobs were a lot bigger now. I don't think he said it to be nasty, and he did say it was just an observation, but it made me feel insecure since I haven't been naked in front of anybody, even him, since my body has changed. So I got upset with him, hence the ban. <sighs> I told his parents what happened after they assumed I was making him leave the room because I wanted him to keep them company while I fed our daughter. His mother was very angry at him and she told him off. Now he's upset with me and keeps insisting I'm making a big deal out of nothing because it was a compliment as he likes my boobs. Am I the asshole? <laughs> This is what I'm talking about, chat! These people are so fucking weird! These people are so weird, chat! What? I will say... I don't think she's an asshole. I think she's just very insecure. I think it's very... I think it's mental illness. Yeah, I'm gonna make the poll. I'm gonna make the poll. I... <laughs> She's just delusional. She's not an asshole. She's just fucking delusional. She is... She is... Er, he is... No one is... Okay. I'm gonna... Uh, there we go. Oh, I could have made... I could have made both are. Shit. Okay. I should have I should have put they both are as well as an option. But like Nobody's the asshole in this situation, right? It's like he made a harmless observation about her breast being bigger and she's like, oh my god, that's so fucked up. How could you? I can't allow you. Postpartum Pipkin. I'm assuming maybe her emotions are really high. You know, she, she's probably... Her hormones Her hormones are probably pretty intense. And she's not acting rationally. But at the same time, he's not the asshole either. He's not the asshole either. This is just... Everybody's a little menhair. Well, he's not menhair. But she's menhair. But Jesus Christ. I guess, if anything, the mother's the asshole? She, his mother was very angry at him and she told him off. Why would... The mother's the asshole. The mother is the asshole. Uh, Agustavo says, I'm gonna eat a thing with the 25 HKs. Their kid's gonna grow up to be a capitalist, isn't it? What? I'll ban anything with 629. Please let them all be beat. Coyote Briggs, thank you. Big Dippy. Kara. Kara. Sarah Theme, thank you. Big Dippy. Sage Stone Aid, thank you. The 224. Super chatting from work. Don't forget to hydrate with water, not soda. Get up and stretch once in a while. Stay healthy, yeah. But, uh, stretching's a pain. <laughs> not long now, thank you. Uh, Oh, not long now! Thank you for coming me! She banned someone from their baby? She's an asshole? She didn't ban... Okay, listen, buddy. She didn't ban them from... She didn't ban the... Father from the baby. She banned him from watching her breastfeed. That's not... You now have no access to your child. What are you sniffing? Allergies. Freaking allergies. You guys are voting... She is. I don't think she's an asshole. I think she's just delusional. I think she's... I think she's... Experiencing... Very... High emotions. Probably due to her pregnancy. 
Uh, not the asshole you are recovering from giving birth. Your hormones are still very much different than they will be. I hope you can feel different about or feel better about your body, dear. It's kind of a process after childbirth. I'm happy your boyfriend's mom's. Here. Why did the boyfriend's mother go off? I don't understand. I don't understand. Zap, why, why are so many of the chats getting hidden? So many of your guys' messages are getting hidden. Pippa really just said it's a woman. Oh, it's a pregnant woman moment. Okay, it's N A H. No, oh, not an asshole. In my opinion, he didn't make a derogatory comment or even say anything rude. He just noted that her boobs were bigger. To some, that would be a compliment. Uh, it's definitely all right that the comment made her uncomfortable, but I don't think he did anything wrong. Though I don't like how she involved outside parties in their disagreement. Yeah. Pa! Oh, here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Here is the ready to light the night. Postpartum isn't the time for observations about a new mother's body, even ones that to some would be a compliment. 5.1k up, dudes. Five kajillion rewards. They got the fucking seal, the spaceship, the star, the another star. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. You guys have mental illness. <gasps> 5,000 people coming to Milady's defense. Holy shit. True, but he probably didn't realize it in the moment since he considered it to be a compliment. OP is still not the asshole. What they need is open comp communication. Why is this not higher? Why did this shit get 5,000 upvotes and this one? And this one's 241. The next one's even higher. That's the thing. We sometimes say hurtful things without realizing, but if you keep insisting that you are right after hearing that your comment was hurtful, then you are an asshole. <gasps> Why? <sighs> oh my god. Reddit is an awful place. <laughs> the comment was hurtful. How? I don't know! Oh my god. Oh god. How did he react? He's upset with me and keeps insisting I'm making a big deal out of nothing. You are. You are. You absolutely are. Jesus Christ. You're gonna notice an ongoing trend. Women are not allowed to take any L's on this fucking subreddit. I don't know what is the issue. I don't I don't understand why. But you're... Uh, probably because it's... Uh, yeah, anyways. Divorce, divorce. I feel like Reddit must be like a very specific demographic. Simps, yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys voted she is. 31% voted no one is. I think no one's the asshole. Again, it's... It's mental illness, but it's not... <laughs> but it's not like anyone's awful here. Like, she's entitled to feel hurt by it, right? Like, if she feels... If, if she feels... insecure, and this is her lover, then he should be willing to be like, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Here's how I meant it. Okay? And she should not interpret that as then like, oh my god, he's making excuses! Fuck this guy! I better get his mother involved! I don't know. Like, she should own the fact that she's not in, like, the right mental space, I feel like. Instead of going on fucking Reddit. Here, I think, two dollars. Reddit appeals to specific demographic. Redditors. Boozy, they two dollars. Reddit is thirsty and they want some milk! Wow! Jesus. C20, B2, then come big pee-pee. Kindle Ninja, then for dollars. Reddit is truly a godforsaken place on God. <laughs> um... Kindle Ninja, then come big pee-pee! Cal Gore, I think of the 367 getting her teeth fixed and now going to the doctor. The money's already changing her, so she's gonna be drinking water, encouraging us to, like, a fag. Oh my god. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law to get the fuck out of my home? I mean, it's your home. Like, just going off the title, I mean, it's your house. I think it could be kind of a dickish thing to say. But also, I mean, it's your house. If you want to tell her to get the fuck out, it's your fucking house. 
Uh, Nyx, thank you for the $5. I had someone talk to me about LGBTQ stuff IRL. I'm afraid Reddit is slipping out of the... The, the LGBTQ stuff is not fucking Reddit. Chill the hell out. Calm the fuck down. Tarazing for those. Anyone who goes on Reddit to ask if they're an asshole or immediately the asshole because they can't think for themselves. I think it's fine to get outside opinions. I think it's cringe to get it from Reddit, though. Uh, sure, then come to pee, pee If you don't pay the rent, then get yeeted away, yeah. Okay. I was having my brother and his family over for the holidays, and all was going pretty well. We were spending time with each other and being civil. I was walking by the room with the laundry when I overheard my brother and his wife arguing over something. It was something about her promising not to do something, but having done it recently. I quickly left and thought nothing of it and didn't mention it. My sister-in-law works at a big corporation where we're from. The two men who own the business are notorious for cheating on their wives with their female employees. My sister-in-law always tries to outdo everyone, like when she told my sister that we were all supposed to dress casually for an event she was hosting, and my sister showed up in jeans and a sweater while everyone was wearing fancy clothes. The next day, my brother was in a bad mood while my sister-in-law kept asking him what we, what we had done to him. He told her to just leave it. She insisted that she... She insisted that we should talk about what my family had done to upset him. He got up and went to their room. My friend who works at the company told me that people in the company were talking about the fact that she had recently slept with one of the bosses for benefits and had done it before. I told her it wasn't possible and that I had to go. I walked past the room and overheard my sister-in-law telling my brother that if he divorced her, she would take the children. I was appalled because she's usually been wonderful. No, she hasn't! What? Later at the dinner, things were a little tense. She kept nagging on my brother, telling him his bad mood didn't suit him. That he was embarrassing her and that I must be ashamed to have a brother like him. I snapped and told her that I was embarrassed that I had her as a sister-in-law. And that her doing that to my brother wouldn't be tolerated and that she should get the fuck out. Everyone froze and they quickly got up and left after a minute. My brother messaged me next day telling me it was my fault and that I ruined the holidays and shouldn't meddle in people's relationships. Am I the asshole? Fake? Probably fake. Probably fake. This feels very one-sided. This feels very one-sided. I'm gonna make the poll. He is... Okay. Hold on. OP is... Sister-in-law... Is... Oh my god, YouTube is so fucking laggy! Everyone is... Bait. <laughs> Amber, thank you for the $2. Throw her out, expel her from the clan, yeah. Ah. Gibbs, thank you for the $5. I bullied a rabid VTuber into showing her feet. Am I the asshole? Yes. The never anything with my lawyers. What are you gonna do? Tell me to pay my taxes next? Uh, maybe. Maybe. What are you gonna do if I do? Huh? This is bait. This is bait. But if it wasn't bait, then yeah, the sister-in-law is. Yeah, the sister-in-law is. Like this feels like bait because like the. <laughs> oh my god! It's just one giant block of text, so it's hard to sort through it. Now you met on things. Two Everyone got up and clapped. Yeah. What was the part where he was like, Oh, my sister-in-law has been nothing but wonderful. Like, what? You literally just... I was appalled because she's usually been wonderful. What do you mean she's usually been wonderful? What was this shit you put here earlier? My sister-in-law always tries to outdo everyone. Like when she told my sister that we were all supposed to dress casually for an event she was hosting and my sister showed up in jeans and a sweater while everyone was wearing crazy clothes. You know she's an asshole. You obviously- you already revealed your hand, motherfucker. We all know she's an asshole, and we know you think she's an asshole. So slipping this in there doesn't- yeah, you can't keep your story straight. Holy run on sentence, yeah. Eh, hey! The reality of this situation... Is he should stay the fuck out of it. Realistically. Okay. He should stay the fuck out of it. Like, the brother's not wrong, I feel like. I feel like the brother is not wrong. Like, you know... And snapping at her... At the fucking dinner table, you're ruining everybody else's dinner. If you have an issue... 
take it up privately later. It is his house. He is entitled to kick her out. But... I snapped and told her that I was embarrassed that I had her as a sister-in-law. And that her doing that to my brother wouldn't be tolerated. Like, that's like, it sounds very base, but at the same time, do you have to do it at the fucking dinner table? Just like, wait until later, you know, confront her, be like, hey, I, you know, I didn't feel like that was appropriate. I don't appreciate you treating my brother like this. Um, you know, like, communicate like adults instead of ruining the fucking dinner. She did it first? That doesn't mean you do it back. Be a grown adult, don't do it back. Bay Sophie! She was already saying you should be ashamed of your brother at the table. Then fucking give her the stink guy. Give her the stink guy and be like, well, yeah, I don't think this discussion is appropriate for the dinner table. I just. I don't know. I don't know. Copperhead snake name for those. How many of these are. And then everyone claps. Men pretending to be women to farm up dudes. Uh, probably the latter primarily. I don't know. They've all gotta be fake. They, they've all gotta be fake. Reddit is for adult children. That is true. That is true. The Grand Phoenix ain't your five dollars. Just flip the table and establish dominance. Haha, <laughs> yeah. He should have just pulled a gun on her. Should have just pointed one right between her fucking eyes and blown her brain out. That would have solved everything. God. We live in a society. Anyways, not the asshole since you... She pulled you into it with the comment about you being ashamed of him. I, I mean... I agree not the asshole, but not for that reason. Not the asshole might be different if she wasn't deliberately trying to push his buttons in front of the entire family. But it was their drama that was the issue, not you calling her out on it. I feel like it was just hand... It was handled so poorly. It was handled so poorly. I don't know. Kindle Ninja thing for dollars. I don't care about who the IRS sends. I'm not paying taxes. Not even for you, rabbit woman. They're both issues. They are both issues. One is definitely worse than the other. The sister-in-law is definitely way worse than everybody else. But at the same time, if you're gonna be the fucking man of the house, right? You know, you maybe, maybe don't get so easily triggered. Maybe, just maybe. Day and evening, five dollars. To be honest, that one would end with a bloody fight between the ladies in a Latino house. What? <laughs> what? Um, not the asshole. She wanted to use her body as a means for advancement. She can suffer the consequences for. What does this have to do with that? It's not about this! In your shoes, I wouldn't allow her to talk back in my home. If she gets upset at people for judging her for her behavior, then she shouldn't have done it in the first place. It's so like... It's so like gut reaction. <laughs> kind of based, I mean... It is kind of based, but at the same time, like... <laughs> I don't know. See, there's... You, you see, chat, there, these don't have as many upvotes because a woman isn't being clearly victimized. Quote-unquote. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just such a cesspit. <laughs> it's just such a goddamn cesspit. I don't think threatening to take the kids while cucking your brother is a low bar for getting upset. It's... Okay. I, I do agree with you. You should be protective of your family, right? And you should stand up for your family. But I feel like there's a time for time and a place for it. And giving in to an instinctual gut reaction at the dinner table and going off on this woman. The children don't need to see it. The other people who aren't involved in this drama don't need to see it. You should you should maintain control of your emotions like an adult. And you should deal with this privately later. Okay? Yes, they don't! No, they don't! Yeah, no, they don't! Yeah, what the fuck? Not gay, I think it was a $5. Two for two women at fault. Let's go. <laughs> okay, 61% bait. 21% sister-in-laws. Tell the sister that... I, she's a bitch! I admit she's a bitch! The sister-in-law is the root of the problem here! I thought they were $10. I'm going to submit a hypothesis. Life advice forums are generally filled with people who want to control people's lives and make them conform to their ideals rather than genuinely help solve things. I need to go check out some life advice forums. If I'm not a confrontational person, 
I mean, not confrontational in like public or whatever. You should you should talk to people privately about these things. Again, it's like there's a time and a place. There's a time and a place. <laughs> Mr. Squiggles in front of the yell at me. I like it. What the fuck? Okay, next one. Next one. Okay. Oh, this one's clearly labeled asshole. Ah, shit. God damn. It. Okay, there we go. God, you can click on fucking everything on modern websites. Alex Tabera, thinking of the five dollars pivot things. The dinner table is sacred, and nothing but eating should be done there. Why is the dinner table so important? Because it's like a family bonding environment. There's children there. Everybody's eating. Everybody wants to just relax. Take your fucking drama and settle it privately like adults. Anyways, sister-in-law is not family. That's that's harsh. That's so harsh. <laughs> Not to the chats, right? You guys are wrong. You guys are wrong. The emotionally mature <laughs> thing to do is to handle and resolve your problems privately. Magazine, come to poopy. Am I the asshole for not wanting to eat what a 10 year old cooked on her own? <laughs> we got kids involved. This one's gonna be spicy. Uh, Arbok thing for the $2. I meant that pertain to. Am I the asshole, by the way? Ah. Redigan thing come big PD. Am I the asshole is infested with one thing worse than Redditors? Teenage Redditors! Ember thing to large children should know not to dishonor the clan! <laughs> okay. She made French toast and insisted I eat it, but I'm so afraid of getting food poisoning and missing work. I didn't say to her I didn't want to be sick, but her family members, my friend's family, who I am visiting, tried to guilt trip me into eating it. Now they're saying I'm mean and should have eaten it out of respect. I see it as the little girl not being able to take no for an answer, and I never mentioned it literally out of respect for the family. I feel like... I'm feeling like kind of an asshole, but what the fuck? <laughs> Why did you bring this to Reddit?! <laughs> you're feeling so guilty over not eating a French toast made by a 12-year-old that you're going on Reddit. Am I a bad person? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, are they the asshole? <laughs> are they the asshole here? I mean, apparently Reddit says yes. I don't mean to be a contrarian, but I feel like no. I feel like no. I mean, it's a 10-year-old. I feel like it is an insult to the people whose house you're over at. Did, it, did they say whose it is? My friend's family who I am visiting. I feel like it is kind of an insult to the family, right? Because it's kind of saying, like, your kid is so useless they can't even make French toast. Or, like, your house is so unclean that I could potentially get food poisoning from this. But <laughs> at the same time, it's like, yeah, I don't know if I trust I trust French toast from a 10-year-old either. <laughs> I, I, I don't... People, would you eat it? Fuck, no, I'm not eating it! Hell no, I'm not eating it! I'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm, I have, like, an egg allergy. I have an egg allergy, so I can't eat it. Or I'd like... Take a... I don't know. Maybe like take a bite and hide some under my tongue or something. I don't know. Or I'd like fake drop it. I'd like pick it up. I'd pick up the plate and go somewhere and I'd like drop it. I'd be like, oh my god, no! I dropped it! Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel so bad. How about I take you out to go buy ice cream or something, you know? Flip the script. Flip the script on them. It's French toast. Imagine lying to a child. Well... <laughs> I'm not eating... Chat, would you eat it? Would you... One in chat if you would eat it. Two in chat if you are not going to eat the French toast made by a 10-year-old. Come on. Echo sound, then come to big B. Tick ding, then come big B. Something tells me OP doesn't want their 10-year-old. What? Seen acting with twenty dollars. Local boy dies after playing video games. After fifty-one hours, he was playing Halo and now has a Halo. J.K. He was gay. What? what? Two? Surprisingly mixed. Surprisingly mixed. Yeah, I might have to make another poll for this. Okay, Chad's saying he's not the asshole. Depends on what it looks like. That is fair. Hoyvin, that is fair. Thank you for the five dollars. It does depend on what it looks like. If this looks like. If this looks like restaurant quality French toast, I I might I might eat it. Cause it might be like the parents helped them with it or whatever. Signed up Disney Killers one, but I've eaten out of the garbage before. Same. Uh Malcolm Lang in front doors, this is where the dog comes in, leave it on the ground, and hope your pet insurance is up to date. <laughs> I presented 
nothing to lose. I'm on the anti-French diet. Yeah. Sorry, I'm. A, I, I suddenly became a vegan yesterday. It's a funny coincidence, actually. Would you eat it? Okay. There. <laughs> oh my god. Vinny Dolding, front doors. I would eat it. Okay, well, let's see what Reddit says. You're the asshole! 4.7k of notes! She's 10 and made French toast. You were worried about food poisoning from eggs, cinnamon, and bread? Wow. <laughs> Nike, thank you for the ten dollars. He said, "Ask her to cook a few more to increase the chances of missing work." I mean, eggs literally have like a million different things that can go wrong with them. Also, there's there's milk in the equation as well, I believe, right? Auxiliary character thing for those French toast is kind of hard to screw up. You can't think of it the five dollars. Would you sniff the toast? I don't know. French toast always smells kind of weird. Seriously, the risk here is the eggs, and they wouldn't give you food poisoning. There's small chance uncooked eggs have salmonella, but it's still rare. And it's on the outside of French toast, so it's the first part cooked. That could have been ta they could have taken one bite and known quickly if it was cooked or not. Oh come on! No one's thinking that far, man. No one's no one's thinking that deep into the. Oh my god, Calgore thing deals. What do you mean saying you ate trash? Shut up. Oh my god. John Garrison and Dillis, this is fake. Reddit hates children. That is true. I got salmonella once. It wasn't fun. Cook your eggs. Salmonella is on the shell! If you clean your eggs with hot water, you'll be fine. And Poland raw yolk is traditionally added to steak tartar, which is raw beef. And I never once had food poisoning from that. Eggshells are porous. If you clean your eggs with hot water, you will wash contaminants into the... Oh, come on, people. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. This is why Americans are told to cook their eggs and why British and most Europeans don't need to... What? Dude, shut the fuck up. I was always told not to wash the eggs. I was told... So, I grew up with chickens and my family always said not to wash the eggs because if you wash the eggs, they spoil more quickly. It ha Like, if the eggshells are porous... What, yeah, what is this fucking logic? Okay, come on, moron. If the eggshells are porous... Then that means whatever is on the outside of the shell is already getting into the shell, you fucking idiot, okay? Do you think sponges only collect water? Alright, if you put a sponge down on a dirty surface, you know it's still gonna get dirt on it, alright, jackass? It's the same thing with your pants. If, uh, if, if you walk... If you walk outside and you get some dirt on you... Your jeans are porous! Your jeans are already getting dirt on them! You're... Like, what? 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 You don't wash home eggs. Store eggs are pre-washed. I don't know. I don't buy store eggs. It's European. It can't be reasoned with. That's true. They're Europeans. They can't be reasoned with. Their perception of reality is so borked. Mr. I think it was your own moment. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at Hades in five dollars. Uh... I don't know your friend's house. You think your friends would let their kids poison you? Well, the parent listen. Parents are stupid about their children. All right. The problem is, is you don't know if this stupid ass ten year old made this French toast like three days ago and it's been sitting in the fridge, and they made it by themselves while their parents were away, and they fucking like cracked like a bunch of eggshell and shit in there. Maybe they added some spice for flavor. You don't fucking know, man. You don't fucking know. Maybe they maybe they sprayed whipped cream on this, and the whipped cream has been sitting for two hours. All right, listen, this, there could be all kinds of shit wrong with this. Children suck at cooking. Terrazing for those wash your penis, Pippa screams. Uh, Gwezer wants and two dollars. It's don't wash with soap. Water is fine. Uh, super and bobbing for those EU pasteurizes its eggs differently. Neither is really better statistically than the other. Well, this is Reddit. They're gonna. Cry and sob about how Europe and Canada are God's gift to mankind. Something, something, Sweden. Okay, like... <laughs> it's Reddit. America is awful and everything America does is wrong. Okay, God. You guys would eat it? Oh my God, 51% of chat would eat the would eat the French toast. I don't believe you. Eating Mike Tyson's ass ain't with the $10. Average Redditor enjoyer. <laughs> Pasteurized eggs? Can eggs be pasteurized? I don't know. Milk is pasteurized. And that's what takes like a lot of the nutrients out of it. 
I think I'll think of $5. I feel it's a combo of wussy OP and people having their children on the no... Do, do no wrong angel pedestal. That is true. That is that is the most accurate response, Heviko. Parents think their little rats can't do anything wrong. And then OP is a fucking coward for not just eating the French dolls. Terminal casing with the Every chickens don't wash home laid eggs. Store eggs have been washed and lack the bloom coating <laughs> to seal them. American industrial farms are filthy. Germans can eat raw pork raised locally. I ain't eating raw pork. <laughs> I ain't eating raw pork. Jesus Christ. Patron, don't think about dollars. It depends. Wash if you're going to refrigerate. Don't if you aren't. Miscommunication, miscommunication led to food poisonings and spoiling between Europe and US. Aww. Uh, Casado Brown, then come big baby. I've eaten uncooked eggs for many years before it was expensive. It's both alive and stronger because of it. Oh, I'm both alive and stronger because of it. There. Oh, okay. I still say I still say hose water is safe. Am I the asshole? I, I, let me take a sip. <laughs> ah! Quigzy, then come big baby. It's been 14 months. Thank you for all the last. Happy year of the rabbit. Thank you. Happy year of the rabbit. Am I the asshole for asking my mother-in-law to return a gift from my husband's mistress? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think we're in for one chat. <laughs> I think we're in for one chat! Let's go, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Certified Reddit moment, baby! Oh my god. Okay, my husband of 25 years left our family a few months ago for his co-worker slash mistress. Okay, okay. Okay, come on. Is is it a mistress? Or is it his new girlfriend? Is it his mistress or is it his new girlfriend? And you know that mistress has certain connotations to it. Come on. I was blindsided to learn of the affair and have tried to handle the breakup with as much grace as possible. By going on Reddit. But I'm also very hurt and so are our three children. I should also mention that <laughs> I was diagnosed with cancer a few months before I discovered the affair. He now lives in another town with the mistress. I have remained close with his family who live nearby me and were disgusted by his behavior. The mistress just gave my mother-in-law a birthday gift. Which was delivered by my husband. <laughs> my mother-in-law happily accepted and displayed the gift in her home. She has never met the mistress as far as I know. I was upset to learn that she accept accepted the gift and she has refused to return it. Or at least not display it. After I expressed to her that it hurt my feelings. Oh, shut up. I know I may be overreacting, but I feel by accepting the gift... She's innocent, accepting their relationship. My mother-in-law told me she's keeping it because she doesn't want to upset her son, who is barely around. Am I the asshole? A few have asked, I unfortunately have stage 4 cancer. My children are in their teens. I appreciate the thoughtful responses. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Raisy, thank you for the two dollars. And the mistress's name is Albert Einstein. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Opie is. No one is. Oh my god. I'm making the poll. I'm making the poll. Mistress is. Husband is. Mother-in-law is... I feel like this is so clearly OP is the asshole. Why is life with income big pee Woman going for gold in the Pity Olympics! Euro Canard, thank you. Let's get this woman some red and gold ASAP! <laughs> this is so stupid! This is so... <laughs> Fuck cheaters, they deserve to burn! Okay. If he was actually cheating... If she was actually cheating, but notice there's no mention in here of how long he was actually cheating for. Notice there is no mention. Notice there is no fucking mention of what actually went down here. It just says, 
I was blindsided to learn of the affair and tried to handle the breakup with as much grace as possible. I was diagnosed with cancer a few months before I discovered the affair. Was it an affair? Was it an affair? I, I feel like this is bait. Yeah, I should have put bait as an option. This feels like obvious bait for fucking Reddit awards. There's just no way. There's just no way. Unlimited bait works. Unlimited bait works. There's no way this is made. Come on, I have stage four cancer. Yeah, okay. Okay, I just... Like, if the parents are fine with it... If the mother-in-law is, like, accepting the gifts and everything... It sounds like... This is just my hypothesis, because there's not a lot of information given. My hypothesis... <laughs> Is that these two people wanted to start a relationship? Told you, your husband came to you and said, "I want to break up. There's somebody else I'm interested in." And then he went and got with another woman. He left you for another woman. Go to the comments, Pippa. Because it doesn't like. <laughs> Because it's a, it left our family a few months ago for his co-worker slash mistress. Like, is she really a mistress if he left you for her? That's not a mistress. Is it an affair if he leaves you for another woman? She, possessive ex. She sounds like a possessive ex. 25 years is a lot though. 25 years is a lot. He is, he is fucked up for not like... Settling things more amicably, I guess. Maybe, potentially, but also, I don't know. OP just... I don't trust OP. I don't... I don't trust the original poster. Like... And the mistress is, like, buying the parents gifts. So I assume she's not, like, a complete bitch. I don't... I don't know. I... I don't know. I don't think anything to do. Always check the account. I'm scared. What, what does it say? Five months? I, I don't know. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna scroll through it. Okay, what did the comments say? I know he may be overreacting, but I feel like by accepting the gift, she's in sense accepting the relationship. She is his mother. It's highly likely she's going to accept their relationship eventually. If they stay together, she won't be his mistress anymore. She will just be his partner. It's understandable that it hurts you, but she's his mother, not yours. Odds are high she's going to choose to stand by him and accept his relationship with her eventually. You might want to find a support network outside of his side of the family. Not an asshole, you asked. She said no. Oh yeah, what was the point of this? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, with the original question, she's not an asshole. She is an asshole in the spirit of things, I feel like, going on Reddit. But the ori I keep forgetting like what the actual original question is. But yeah, that was a that was a very reasonable response. That was a very reasonable response to this. But like, am I the asshole for asking my mother-in-law to return a gift from my husband's mistress? I don't think she's an asshole for asking it. I don't think she's an asshole for asking this question. <laughs> but the mother-in-law is not an asshole either for saying no. Brave, thank you, Fred Lord. If this is real, unlikely, and the wife has stage four cancer, just wait a few months for her to conk out and stay in the will at least. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> True, though. True, though. That is the most logical approach to this. <laughs> and then when she gets better, if she gets better, then you leave. There you go. Anyways. OP would have to divorce him in order for the mistress to not be his, the mistress anymore. I feel like, Maybe like technically, but I feel like that's not how this works, right? Somebody's not your mistress just because you haven't officially divorced your partner yet. They're your new partner. They're not a fucking mistress. We all know. We all know the negative connotations that come along with this. Face it, bitch. He's leaving you for a different woman. Just chill the fuck out and move on. That is how it works? Oh my god. Mistress is like... 
Modern usage of the word mistress is like he was cheating on me with this woman and she's the other woman and we're still in a relationship. He left you. He left you. It's not a mistress. He's leaving you for another woman. Okay. Chill. Uh, OP, you're allowed to have your feelings, but you can't control what other people do. As far as your husband goes, personally, I'd be petty and refuse to divorce him at least for a little while. Actual mental illness. The Chon Don Nanger Dealers, we should bring back anti adultery laws. By Santi Marco Nanger Dealers, no, that's still adultery in the mouth. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like his intentions are clear. He's leaving you for another woman. He's not giving her the runaround. Just because they haven't fought. Because then you end up. I feel like the people who are like, oh, well, he should wait until they're officially the boy. Matt, you sound like this motherfucker. You give me the same vibes as this motherfucker. Move on with your life. Marriage is a piece of paper. Move on with your fucking life, okay? Just move on. Move on. He doesn't want you anymore. He doesn't love you anymore. She's not the other woman. You are the other woman. Just because you're married does not mean that you have any priority anymore. You have been pushed aside, all right? Accept it. It sucks. It's a garbage situation. Especially after 25 years. But hey, at least your children are adults. All right? All right well, teenagers. Your children are teenagers. They're old enough to process, most likely. Super involving for Lores. In order to get no fault divorce, you need to live as if separated for a year normally. Dating while separated shouldn't be a mistress. Okay, well, there you go. I have no idea about divorce law. But if that's true, Super Iron Bob, then that's another reason to not fucking hang over this. This is like. <sighs> oh my god. I'm just taking the bait! I'm taking the bait! Nate's a building the. Uh, five dollars. OP still has legal authority over him if he ends up in the hospital until the divorce. Not the new girlfriend, aka mistress. Who cares? Who cares? He's not in the hospital. She is. She's the one dying of cancer. Uh, Randall, thank you for the two dollars. Don't make me get out the Bible, rabbit. Uh, mad lad, striker, thing two dollars. Home mad. Um, Cal Gore, thing one forty-seven. I think we can agree. Women are always wrong. No, women are not always wrong. Just on Reddit, they are. Pachon on the doors. Divorce is always cringe. Um. Uh, okay, OP is the asshole. Okay, I'm gonna end the poll. I don't believe someone of age to be married 25 years. I don't believe someone is of age to be married for 25 years and use fucking Reddit. You'd be surprised. The job thing with the five dollars. He should have asked for the open relationship. He shoulda. He shoulda. Those always end well. Okay, this sub loves petty, but that often backfires. If based? Based? Uh, and would like to do so spectacularly in this case. Given OP's poor health, if she passes before a divorce, the surviving spouse gets her interest in the marital home, the joint accounts, etc. Better to divorce and divvy everything up so she can leave her share to the kids. A man who could abandon his family during such a period of turmoil isn't going to put the kids' interests ahead of his own. It is fucked up he's leaving her while she's dying of cancer. If she's actually... If she actually has stage 4 cancer... And she's dying. That is fucked. He is the asshole for that. He is the asshole for that. That is fucked up. <laughs> like, this is this is the most well-reasoned end on, I feel like. But that's if. I really don't believe it. I just... Like, you're dying of stage 4 cancer and you're going on Reddit. <laughs> my mother and mom accepted a gift from, from my husband's new girlfriend. <laughs> You're dying of cancer, and that's what you're focusing on right now? You're dying of can- Go play in the park with your children one last time. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what? You're dying- You're dying wishes to go on Reddit and get validation. Holy shit. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it's Jim. <laughs> oh my god, this is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Like... <laughs> the cancer thing honestly feels so tacked on. The cancer thing seems so... T it's all she has left is Reddit validation. <laughs> that was a hard thing with those beasts. You shouldn't leave Jim Tippa even if he has cancer AIDS. Oh my god. 
Or your kids are never gonna have a mom again. You're crying on Reddit about your ex husband. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Write a book or something. Oh, Peanut, thank you for the raid. <laughs> thank you for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream, Peanut. For those of you who don't know, Peanut is from Riz on Project, and she's a very adorable penguin. And you should go check her out. She goes hard in Minecraft. Also, she's, she's been putting on a bunch of music and stuff lately. You guys should check out her music. It goes hard. Okay, composite thing. For those Reddit was real stage 4 cancer all along. It really is. It really is. Ah. Uh, YouTube needs a little shout out function like Twitch has. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm comparing Twitch. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Twitch did something right. They added a <laughs> shout out function. Drag B thing with the $5. Pippa, you say that the last week. My aunt went wild and tried to bite my face off. She bit my dad's face and my grandmother. So yeah, people are crazy, motherfucker. Holy shit. She has rabies. Where is one thing? $5. My dishwasher broke, so I got a new one. This guy, probably. A sustained depression thing with the noise. Mom! The cool kids are bullying me for your cringe post on Reddit! <laughs> okay, next one. Next one. I was tempted to creep her, her Reddit, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to... Yeah, meth story? Meth? Okay. Will I be the asshole if I don't tell my daughter a present is from her dead great-grandma? Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, there's like a, um, there's like a, a system here. I'm gonna open the poll ahead of time. This one's gonna be juicy. Is OP the a-hole? Yes. No. Let me add the poll options. Okay, so this time, yes, no. Everyone is... Ah! Why is it delete the poll? Yes, no. Everyone is... Dun, 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 dun. No one is. Okay. I'm not gonna add bait because you guys are just gonna vote that they're all bait. Because they probably are all bait. Because this is Reddit <laughs> and it's full of liars. I try nothing. Do those in sickness and in health till death do you part. Yeah, well... Death is about to do the part anyway, so... Why not cut it a bit short? Last week, my grandma, a hundred... Holy shit, congratulations. Died. Okay, well, not congratulations for that. <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay, I spoke a little too soon. <laughs> that was a tiny bit too soon. <laughs> For the 11 pens depends on how much of a good wife she was, such as putting her best years in the relationship, not in the penis. What? Remember the woman dating value starts high but drops sooner the male peak. But what? Okay, okay, dude, calm down, calm down. Okay, <laughs> okay. She was very old. Yes, she was, but it was very unexpected. What do you mean? She was very old, but it was very unexpe unexpected. She's a hundred. She's a hundred years old! What do you mean it was unexpected? Are you blind? Are you stupid? <gasps> oh my god! She was a hundred years old, Dad! <laughs> oh my god, these posters are another breed, Chet! They're another fucking breed! I don't understand! <laughs> She was pretty lively for a hundred year old. Yeah, she could even pick up a fork. It was amazing. Had no idea she was gonna kill over dead in any second. Oh man. Okay, she had caught this stupid cunt. What? Why is it censored? She caught this stupid COVID. Is the word COVID censored on Reddit? Cancer. COVID. Why are they censoring the word COVID on... <laughs> Why are they censoring the word COVID on Reddit? Does Reddit have, like, algorithms like that? OP is just scared? What? It's Reddit... Why? I thought Reddit didn't have, like, censors and stuff like this. What? Oh, my eyes are... Okay, okay. COVID. Okay, so she caught COVID and it was still unexpected. And went through... Or went from being healthy for her age, fit, playing soccer with the kids, mowing her lawn, etc. To her final breath in just three weeks. 
My daughter just turned five a couple of days after the funeral. They had a special bond and everything. Every mentioning of her Grammy made her extremely upset. Grammy had made sure that she would get a nice present, a lovely pop-up book, while she was already in the hospital. My daughter loves it, but I just couldn't tell her where it came from. My mom wants her to know it. She wants her to know Grammy still thought about her, but I don't want to upset her. Will I be the asshole if I don't tell her, or maybe tell her when she is older and can understand it better? Okay, that's a long clarification. I'm just gonna say, yeah, you're the asshole. Yeah, you'll, no shit, you're the... What? Yeah, just tell her. Just fucking tell her. I, I already understand the fact that you're a fucking idiot because you're going on Reddit and asking about this, but like, Jesus Christ. No shit. Is OP the asshole chat saying yes? This is just so dumb. Okay, okay, what did, what did they go on to say? Update, edit, clarification. I had no chance to not give it to her. Or give it to her later, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. My mom had just put it on the birthday table with all the other presents. I had just removed the envelopes and cards because A, she can't read, and B, I don't want cards and monies to get lost in the wrapping paper tornado. But I had not looked into those cards. It was her first real birthday party, during lockdowns, etc. We could not invite her friends, so this was the first party with other children. So I'm actually glad I did not know it at that point, so her party could just continue as planned. We had booked an alpaca hike. I will now find a time when siblings and cousins are not there, so probably after the holidays, and read the cards with her. Grammy had set aside one special item from her flat for each of her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And my daughter got a small wooden coffee grinder that plays music that she loved to play with, so she has a sturdy memento. Thank you for the kind words and sympathy. Of course, it was really hard for the whole family. The younger children didn't really understand it yet. The older children took it better. She was the only one who took it really hard. We would not comfort, or we could not comfort her, and she fell asleep from crying and exhaustion at the funeral. Yeah, she's five years old and she can't read. Your kid's five years old and she can't read, dude. <laughs> Maybe it runs in the family. Anyway, Sydney and Paul's language in the world. I've had some relatives who lived into their 90s. One aunt lived to 99, was pretty spry till about six months prior to her death. Also, women generally hold up better than men, in my experience. Stop Red Snake, thank you for the five dollars. What the fuck? Ask Reddit for advice on parenting. They're all childless. Defter Tuna, thank you for five dollars. Makes sense. That website is full of people who share collective brain cells, so it's wise to keep expectations low. Uh, Xantetsu, thank you for the 427. Wait until she's 99 and then tell her. <laughs> Try nothing thank you for those. Please see CDC guidelines to get the latest updates about COVID 19. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I think it's less. Yes, Pippa, the 100 year old grandma caught. <laughs> Why did I think it was the five dollars? Dude, it's Reddit. Yeah. Top of head thing, which is Bible days, people live to be 300, 500, even 800. Oh my god, Sebastian's arresting with 258. Okay, I remember that. Okay. You would be the asshole, but you seem willing enough at least to go through with it. So. I don't know, it's a sad situation. It's a sad situation. I'm curious what the assholes in the comments are gonna say though, because they always just have like the most brilliant takes. You're the asshole. Let me explain why. I also have a five-year-old, and it is our job as parents to teach our children how to deal and cope with losses and emotions of any kind so they can become functioning people in the future. Hiding things that could make your kids sad or upset will only prevent them from learning how to properly feel and manage those feelings. Take this chance to teach her that it is okay to be sad, it is okay to be upset, as long as we don't hurt anyone or ourselves, and we always remember to move forward and do our best. Edit to add, sorry for your loss, OP. Best of wishes. Well, it's actually, this actually a big brain! That's actually a big brain! Wow! Rare Reddit W? Wow. Yeah, everyone's saying it'd be the asshole. Nah, but it seems like your daughter understands that Grammy's gone and she's already upset. I don't think this will upset her more. It will help her remember and think about Grammy's love for her. She might be sad, but she's unfortunately sad either way. I'm sorry for your loss. That's another perspective, at least. But try nothing. Do large children are people based? Yeah, true. Um. <laughs> and so even the people who say, like, she's not an asshole are still saying, like... You should still do it, though. You should still tell her. Wow. It's a Christmas miracle, chat. Okay. Okay. Wow, we all, we all came together and agreed on something, and everybody had fairly well-reasoned responses? Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. 
This one goes out to all the uh, VTuber agency fans. Am I the asshole for taking a net nepotism baby joke too personally? Okay, I'm gonna make another poll. Are they? Yes. I think I can just leave a default and it'll automatically do it. Will it just automatically work? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. At our family New Year's Eve get together, the topic of nepotism came up. I'm assuming it's something on top of some people's minds as a result of the New York magazine cover. What? As a result of the New York magazine What? Chat context? <laughs> Con people read magazines still? People read magazines still, dude? What? <laughs> Times magazine? Who was on who was Times magazine cover? NPC moment, yeah, NPC moment. Yeah, they're the asshole for reading New York magazine, they are. I agree, Rolly Pulley Games, I agree. <laughs> What's a magazine? I don't know. It's some form of like archaic means of communication, I think. It used to be like Twitter. Just as terrible. Just as full of assholes. Okay, nobody has any idea! No, nobody Okay, let's just go. Let's just let's just read it. I, 27 male, had seen some buzz about it online. What? But I, I can't say I'd given it much thought myself. What? Where? Funny mustache man was person of the year Hitler? Hitler was Time was Time magazine person of the year? Fake? What? Yes, no, you're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. Yeah, he was? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't, chat. Not giving context. I agree. What? Uh, uh, Stalin? What? Chat. Are you talking about right? No, you're not. I'm birthing you two. not a human being. Robot infiltrated plan. Yeah. He was back in 1939. You assholes. 1939. Who the fuck cares? 19. We're talking about this year, bitches. Oh my god! Chat, you're so annoying! Self-using! Yes, but it was not meant to be positive. Angry Moki, I think you were becoming a big pee, pee man. Of the year wasn't supposed to be an award, just an acknowledgement of the movers and shakers. Whoa. The context is very different now. Okay. The number of celebrities I care about is a small one, and there's a good chance I don't know anything about their family tree. Who? Who? Because of lack of interest, I didn't appreciate. Oh, I didn't participate in the initial conversation. The topic was brought up by my brother-in-law's wife, and I listened for a while before turning to a conversation with my husband. Bro okay, okay, so your husband's brother's wife. Okay. Uh. After a few minutes, my brother-in-law's wife said something along the lines of, "I want to know OP's thoughts on this, since he is a nepo baby." Uh, it was said somewhat jokingly, but I was still confused and I asked her to explain. She said that since I worked for my dad and was basically handed a job when I graduated, that I was technically a nepotism baby. I don't... <laughs> what? I replied that it was a little ridiculous to group me in with actors and models making millions on their parents' name, but my husband and I were just regular people working to support ourselves and each other. She said it was beyond just regular people working to support themselves when I made... Oh, she brought money into it. Oh, she... Oh, ho, ho. In a year. I thought the whole thing was wildly inappropriate to be discussing in front of all these people, and I told her so. She said that it was a joke and I was overreacting. The atmosphere was obviously a little, a little tense following that. And she all but forced my brother-in-law out the door before the night was even over. There were mixed feelings after she left, with people saying I took the joke personally and people saying she went too far. Am I the asshole? No, she's the asshole. What? That doesn't seem like a joke, chat. That feels like... Oh. <laughs> that sounds like somebody's a little salty alty. Holy shit. Somebody's dad doesn't... Uh, wasn't able to give them a job or whatever and... Like, bringing money into it? 
Yeah, that's not a joke. Yeah, that's catty. That's catty as hell. That's not a joke. No, poll? Okay, so right now you guys are saying they are the asshole. I'm gonna make a new poll and I'm gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what your thoughts are now. Is OP the asshole? That doesn't feel like a joke. <laughs> Hassan tier three sub? This person? You vote too fast? It's also bait. It probably is bait. It probably is bait. This is this is kinda weird. This is this is kinda weird, I feel like. I feel like the sister in law's the asshole. <laughs> because like it's one thing like it, it's already like an off brand joke, right? Like it's one thing to make an awkward joke and be like, oh well, you're also a nepotism baby, right? Cause that's kind of like a rude thing to say just on its own. But then to like follow well, you uh, well, actually you make a shit ton of money. Like like bringing up the bringing up the specific amount of money. <laughs> like that's Dalai Lama thing coming to be hi Peppa, hi! Isaac Brooks, wholesome gabagool art thing with two dollars. Glad you got to come on with cancer man. If a joke flops, let it die, yeah. What is a nepo baby? So nepotism baby. Nepotism is when like you're OP basically. So basically like when your family or your friends have a business or they have like opportunities and instead of considering the most qualified person for the job, they hand it over to somebody close to them. Which is kind of like a touchy subject right now. I don't know why everybody's so up in arms about it. I feel like it's a little annoying, right? It's a little, it's a little annoying. Like, say you're applying for a job. To, like, okay, VTuber agencies are like this, right? VTuber agencies are like this. If I applied to a VTuber agency and I didn't know, like, anybody in the industry or anything, and I didn't have, like, connections or whatever, it would be harder for me to become... Like, to join a VTuber agency because... They ideally want people who all get along with each other. And generally, the people who tend to have experience in some fields that, like, these agencies are looking for were already friends with other people in the field because they already did all the networking. They already got to a certain point. Right? So it's kind of like a blend of... how a meritocracy works and just how, like, networking works. You can end up with nepotism in, in VTuber companies. But this person, if that doesn't apply in a family business, I don't feel like it applies in a family business. And just in general, I don't understand it. People, like, I remember people were going real hard on, like, Walmart for this, right? People were going off on Walmart. They were like, oh my god. The guy who owns Walmart is giving everything to his children. He's, like, hiring his children and giving them all this shit. And blah blah blah. It's like, well, yeah, no shit. You fucking idiots. Those were his children. What is he supposed to do? Build a business? And then... Give it away? What? Of course he is, yeah. Like, what, you want him to give it to you? No. It doesn't matter if somebody's more qualified, right? Like, like with these family businesses. Say you own a mom and pop shop, right? You own... You own a comic book store, chat. You own a comic book store and you eventually get married and you have children and you are now faced with do I hire my child to work in my comic book shop or do I hire some random other person to work in my comic book shop even though my child might need a job? No shit you hire your kid. Are you fucking kidding me? Or like if you run a comic book shop and your friend needs a job. Yeah, buddy. I need somebody to stock the shelves at my comic book store. Why don't you come work for me? How is that bad? Yeah, imagine not hiring your kid. Your kid needs a job and you're just like, nope, sorry, I don't believe in nepotism. This is your thing for those most people crying about nepotism have never heard of something called job recommendation. I just... Have a supporting child labor, yes. It's just... I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I don't know. This feels... This feels... Yeah, you can underpay your kid. You can underpay your kid and treat them poorly and they can't... They, they have no recourse. You can't do that with a normal person. Nepotism just makes financial sense. Adele Darkstar, the Infadori's expectation is usually that the children are preparing for the world. We have no indication of that here. Who cares? He doesn't need to prepare. It's his dad's shop if his dad wants to give him... The time where it's like a dick move, right? Is like... Somebody... You're training somebody else to work in your business, right? It's like a very like skill-intensive job or whatever. And you're like, yeah... You are my apprentice, and I'm teaching you everything, and you've been working here for 60 years, and now my child comes along, and now they own the business, because they are my child. That does feel like shit, but also, like, come on, you didn't expect that? You didn't, you didn't expect that, dude? Come on. Come on. Anyways. Not the asshole, she was out of line, however, she was correct. Your situation is definitely nepotism, it doesn't just apply to celebrities. Who cares?! Cover its nickname for Lord's nepotism is when your middle manager is an incompetent boob, but he was hired anyway because they're buddies with HR. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit. Her guys said mad ending for Lord's chat having a child and chat having a wife and kids. Your expectations are just too high. Uh, Deli Darkstar, thank you, Lord's. I forgot to say either way. Oh well. <laughs> it's pretty obvious nepotism has a negative connotation. Wait, 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 wait. misses one. While she was an asshole for bringing it up and pushing the conversation when it clearly made OP comfortable. Uncomfortable. It genuinely baffles me how OP justifies and excuses the nepotism in his own situation. He doesn't make millions, so therefore being handed a job by his father isn't nepotism. What? 5.8k upvotes. You fucking... Oh my god. They've always got to ruin it. There were too many good ones in a row, chat. They always have to come in and ruin it. The two guys didn't come... I think it was by the way. Uh, Piva Nepotism is illegal in publicly traded companies. Well, don't publicly trade companies. You end up with a shit company. It's pretty obvious nepotism has negative connotation. I mean, that's the way it is. It can't blame him for not wanting to be called out like that. Completely inappropriate. OP, not the asshole. I mean, yeah! Hold on. I mean, yeah, it has negative connotations. That doesn't mean it's not true. He wants the benefits of nepotism, but not to acknowledge them because it sounds bad. I get that it's not great dinner party conversation, so she was a bit tactless to keep pushing it. But he still tries to claim it's not nepotism in this post. It's obviously nepotism. He could at least acknowledge that and say how grateful he is to have the help. He could have easily redirected the conversation that way instead of taking it personally. Okay, distribution in 7530. I think it's kind of cringe, you know, that you're not accepting the fact that you're a very privileged member of society being able to go on Reddit and post and customize your avatar and everything. Is your avatar dressed like a male? Are you a male? Oh my god. Okay, distribution, you know, you should really acknowledge the fact that you're a male and in this situation, you know, you have a lot of privilege that comes with being uh, somebody who is hired more potentially or whatever, get pays more, whatever the fuck you're supposed to say in this situation, blah, 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 blah. Like, I mean, come on, Opie, you're kind of attacking somebody when you don't know their situation, when you've already, you know, benefited from societal privilege, blah, 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 blah. Alright, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking idiot. You're so fucking stupid. You are so fucking stupid, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. None left income to me. Oh my god. I don't know, OP makes it sound like nepotism was already the topic of discussion. If the group wasn't already put off by the topic, I don't think it makes brother-in-law's wife an asshole to ask for OP's thoughts on something he clearly is. There's so many things, I w there's so many ways I want to go with this. <laughs> Should have started talking about. Oh no. You know, should have started talking about. Should sh you shouldn't. You know what? Op. By Reddit logic, should have just redirected the conversation <laughs> to talk about cock sucking horse, and then ask brother in law's wife how it feels to be a cock sucking whore, or maybe talk about people with no social skills and people who make. Obvious jabs at other people. And how annoying and pathetic they are. And how they should really just learn to shut their fucking mouth instead of being such an annoying twat. And then when he asked brother-in-law's wife what her thoughts on the situation were. And she said, well, why are you asking me? Just say, well, 
You asked me about nepotism, so I figured we were just addressing our own personal faults. Fallen saint and come big pee pee. Like, Jesus Christ. You people, you people are so fucking insufferable. You are so insufferable. Oh my god, academic smell thing come big. Uh, wait, uh, what? <laughs> I heard the noise and I started reading. Fallen saint and grumpy pee pee. Academic snow's coming. Uh, I agree with you. This topic came up during my New Year's party and we acknowledged our own privileges and nobody was acting like they hadn't been handed advances in life while still acknowledging certain disadvantages. Oh, Faye is totally overreacting. Well, aren't you special virtue signaling at the goddamn dinner table for fucking New Year's Eve? Aren't you so fucking humble? La -di -da -di -da, bitch! Holy! Oh my god. Did you see? Sisters, did you see who was on the cover of New York Magazine? Oh my god. You know, I recognize that as a white woman in society, you know, I have had so many privileges handled to, handed to me. And I just feel like, you know, it's just not wrong for me to, like, go after other people for their situation. And I feel like we should make a very big deal about pointing all this out. I feel like... I feel like if we're not making this a prominent point of discussion, you know, like if we're not if we're not really discussing this and uh, and uh, beating ourselves down and being like, oh my god, I'm so, so <laughs> I was given a job when I was 13 by my dad. I I I I had the door held open for me to the elevator one time when I was going up to my apartment. Oh my god, uh, one time, one time there was there were picking kids. On your own home. Do, do whatever you want in your own fucking home, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys are so annoying, though. Oh, P didn't acknowledge his privilege. Kill him. Oh my god. If LP was contributing anything to the conversation, I would agree. Their situation would be relevant. However, given that they were not actively engaging with the conversation... There was no need to try and drag them into it. Especially not starting on the grounds, Hey, you are part of this negative thing. What do you think of it? It's rude! Oh my god. God bless you. God bless you, Quaid. Oh, fucking hell. OP wasn't interested in this conversation. While I disagree with them about nepotism, I don't think there was any justification for this joke at their expense. Thank you! Thank you, Quaid! Thank you! Jesus! Fucking some common sense! Don't need the mighty thing to lose. How's things today, Sam? Hard passing from dollars. Keep preaching the truth. Reddit gold. I want to buy this name. Reddit gold. Finally a smart person. Yeah, another rare Reddit W. This guy in particular. Thank you, Quaid. Thank you. Original crit thing from dollars. Super serious question. There's a cat outside. Should I adopt it? I don't know if I could take care of it. Plus, it might be the neighbors. No collar, though. I think you should keep an eye on the cat. See if it goes to anybody's house. Uh, if it's hanging around one person's property or whatever. Is, is the cat skinny? Maybe put out some food for it. It might be worth putting out some food for the cat. Um... If it looks skitty... 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 Skinny. And it doesn't, um... Seem cared for? Yeah, steal it. No collar-free cat? I mean, you shouldn't put collars on cats, because... They can choke themselves... With them. Okay, okay, Tragedy Rose. Okay, asshole enthusiast level 8. Unless they were given the job because... Oh my god! Because they were a family and... Had no qualification for it, then it's not nepotism. Nepotism, especially since it's extremely negative, is someone in power giving a family member or friend <laughs> undue influence on jobs that they aren't qualified for over the qualified individuals. Okay, this is a better definition. Grant, game for rating for those. Hi, Pippa, can you sing? No, I cannot. Now, OP is working for a family business. His business will be passed down to OP when his dad retires. Therefore, OP should be working at the business to understand how it runs. There's a chance OP was helping with the family business as a toddler. So, you know, was raised in the game and has intricate knowledge that a new hire or even one that has been working there for a few years wouldn't know. 
Oh, boy. It could be that OP is qualified, but was picked over other qualified candidates because they are family. There, that would still be nepotism. Personally, I think a lot of Nepo babies in entertainment are actually pretty good at their jobs. They likely would not have gotten a chance to shine without their family connections. I think Robert Downey Jr. is in that situation, right? I think I think Robert Downey Jr. is a nepotism baby. But I'd, I'd, I'd be very sad if he didn't get Nepo hired. You're wrong, nepotism is handling, hand, handling a family member in advantage because they are family, period. Doesn't matter whether they're qualified or not. For example, Angelina Jolie is a Nepo baby, but also very talented. Ah, uh, I don't know. Who cares? Who, who cares? The woman's an asshole. Why are you guys... Why are you guys arguing about nepotism? The brother-in-law's wife is clearly a bitch. See that thing for the five dollars. Them not eating a nine millimeter is privileged. See anything with ten dollars. Remember, Pippa, two hundred k pits and three hundred k is full Murdoch. What? The never eating thing for the five dollars. It's not a question or a request. It's an <gasps> order. Like she is so obviously. They're focused on the semantics. The fucking the brother-in-law's wife is a bitch. Op is not an asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you. You guys. You guys are so annoying. <laughs> okay. That was all I opened of these. Hold on, we gotta open up uh, a few more of them. Should I look for ones where they decided OP was an asshole? I feel like those will probably be more... Oh, oh, this one says everyone sucks. Oh, this one says everyone sucks. Oh, chat. Okay. Okay, hold on. Here we go. What's this? This one's not everyone sucks. This one's just an asshole. We'll get to the everyone sucks. Will I be the asshole if I don't tell... Oh, wait, I already read that one. Shit! Wait, I just opened that one! What the fuck? It's a duplicate! Hold on. Okay, well, since I fucked that up, let's do the one that, um... Let's do the everyone is the asshole one. Okay. Let's do... Let's do this one. I'm gonna open up a poll. Ah. Are they the asshole? I guess I should do... Does everyone suck? I don't know. Let's do it. Poll is still open. <laughs> Am I the asshole for fighting with my sister because she makes annoying, random, and loud noises because she is neurodivergent? Can only end well. Doomsday did anything with the three dollars. Oh no, not the, uh, what? <laughs> My sister, sixteen female, has been slowly being louder and more annoying. At this point, she can't go five minutes without making some loud, obnoxious sounds. <laughs> She'll shriek, clap her hand, cough loudly, sneeze loudly, and just make strange noises that I don't even know how to describe. My parents, both forty-nine, and I, fifteen. I've all asked her why she does this. Because it's popular on TikTok. She claims that she is neurodivergent. She says she has ADHD and autism and thinks she probably has something else too. Oh. Is that what's trending right now? It used to be Tourette's. She even sent us videos talking about these disorders and why people with them need to make these noises to feel okay, I guess. I don't think she has them because I did research and she doesn't seem to have any other important symptoms of these disorders. The thing is, when we are out and around people, she will still make these noises, which is very embarrassing. But she makes them a little more quietly and less frequently. I told her that this proves she can control it, but she says she can only control it a bit for a few hours. But she shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable in our house by trying to control it. My parents are just going along with it and allowing her to do this, even though they don't believe her. I told her to get a real diagnosis if she is really serious about this, and so that she finds ways to stop doing this but refuses. My parents tell me to let her be, but it's just so annoying. Even if I stay in my room, all I hear... I hear all the obnoxious sounds she makes all day. I have to put on headphones, which are uncomfortable when I'm really tired of hearing it. Lately, I've been calling her names each time she makes an obnoxious sound. I will also sit in the living room because I hate staying in my room all day and will loudly play music she doesn't like and sing badly and sometimes make fun of the noises she makes. <laughs> All oh, this makes her angry. My parents told me to stop because she went crying to them about it, but I said she didn't force her to... If they don't force her to go to therapy, 
therapy, I won't stop. My parents are clearly stressed about all this and I feel kind of bad. But I don't really feel bad for annoying my sister back. So am I the asshole for fighting with her over this and causing stress to my parents as a result? Yeah, no, Reddit's right. You all suck. No, <laughs> Reddit's right. You're all assholes. <laughs> You're all cringe as hell. What? <laughs> She's 15 years... She's 15. Oh, no, no, no. The sister is 16. OP is 15. They're both stupid kids. The real issue is the parents. The real issue in this situation is the parents not taking their children to get a fucking look over to see if something actually is up. Because one thing... There's, there's two things I have to say about this chat. One thing is that... Some symptoms of certain neurodivergencies might develop later on in life. Right? And just because she is potentially mimicking some attributes of a disorder does not necessarily mean that it's not like from a place of her relating to it and feeling like it is potentially something that she has. But that being said, she should not be self-diagnosing herself, seriously. And she should not be like, being like, Oh, well, I need to enact, I, I, I need to display these other symptoms so people believe that I have these issues or whatever. It sounds like she's LARPing, but she's a 16 year old. So it's hard to really like hold it against her. She should go get a fucking diagnosis. She should go talk to a professional. The other thing I have to say is there's so many of these fucking LARPers, man. There's so many, there's so many like teenagers that go on TikTok or whatever and they see like the in adult women, adult, adult men, adult uh, people. There's, there's lots of people that they go on like TikTok and the trendy thing is like having Tourette's and having tics. And there's, there's like, oh, I have dissociative identity disorder. And you have even like some big influencers coming out and being like, oh yeah, actually I have this because it's just a trendy thing to like show off, right? It's kind of like a new quirky personality trait. When realistically, they displayed no symptoms of it. They might genuinely believe that they have it, but... I personally think it's mass hysteria. I don't think it necessarily always comes from a place of like, let me capitalize on this trendy mental illness. Yeah, social contagion. I think, I think it's a, I think it's mass hysteria. I think it's people convincing themselves that they have problems that they might not actually have. Because they're witnessing other people with these problems, perhaps feeling some relation to it, and then making it like a core part of their identity. Either way, take the kid to a fucking therapist and talk about it. It's... OP is a child as well. OP is younger than his sister. OP is 15. So... He's a kid. I mean, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. His sister's being stupid. They're both being stupid. The parents, if they can afford it, should take their kids to get a fucking checkup. All right? This... This is how I feel. This is how I feel. That being said, shit like psychiatric evaluations are going to doctors, therapists, etc. That shit is very expensive. My parents never wanted to take me to the doctor. I only got to go to the doctor when there was something, like, seriously fucking wrong. So I understand if it's that kind of situation where... Maybe she's just doing the best with what she has. I don't know. I don't know. Go talk to a school counselor. <laughs> go talk to a school counselor or something. That's how I feel. Let's see. Let's see. Sounds like your sister is wanting attention. I agree with that. Self-diagnosis of mental health disorders is not appropriate. Your parents should take her to the doctor for testing so she can get proper medicine and treatment. You're getting frustrated with her is understandable as your parents are at best enabling her and at worst ignoring real health issues. This is very true. If your sister truly does suffer from ADHD and autism, you'd probably feel like shit knowing that you're teasing her. 
You need to have an honest conversation with your parents about your sister's behavior and how it is impacting you. If they still do not listen, talk to your teacher or school counselor and let them know what's going on at home. Teachers and counselors are mandated reporters. Never tell them your real issues, by the way, if you don't want your family knowing. Meaning that they're required by law to report abuse of children to, my th to authorities. Which, if your sister truly has these medical conditions and your parents are ignoring them, would constitute abuse. This may be a harsh way to go, but if your parents aren't going to do their job, someone needs to be responsible and that person can be you. It feels so strong to call it abuse. <laughs> it feels like tinge dramatic to call it abuse. Um, but that being said, it does feel like a good course of action to talk to other adults if your parents are unwilling to do something about the situation. You know? Fucking narc! Uh, pacification thing. Like, Damn, Pippa! Are you a Pips? Pips? I don't know how to say that. Great, <laughs> they with the five dollars. People be like, okay, parents, go to a doctor and say my child has a problem with this, and then don't post about it online. Get the kid out, base. Mark, Marky, obscurity thing with delays. People they're appropriating my autism culture, background noising, delays, flavor of the month syndrome. Yeah, great, do you think dollars? Uh, so why are disabilities a way to get clout? To be honest, uh, cause pity, empathy. The same reason why homeless, uh, quote unquote, homeless people will stand out on the street to get money when they're not actually homeless. And they'll have like a dog and they'll have a sign and they'll like fold their leg back to make it look like they lost a leg and nom. Very coding for the 50 Poké Dollars unless I was dying, my mom cured me with a Vicks rub. Uh, copper heading with the $2 POTUS material, she's gonna have a glow up. I'm not sneezing, I have ADHD, I make weird noises, I deserve to be made fun of it. Grow some thicker skin, you don't deserve to be made fun of for your mental health issues. Music and fiction thing, dealers. Not the asshole, the sister needs to have brain surgery. Are you talking about a lobotomy? Are you, are you talking about a lobotomy? Okay, anyways, next one. Next one. for asking my mom to just go along with my fiance's boundary even though it is hurtful. So loaded. So loaded. I'm currently planning a wedding with my beautiful fiance, Annie. My mom and Annie had a meh relationship. They aren't crazy about each other, not particularly close, but they don't have many issues. My mom and I have never been close, so it isn't like one of those crazy mother-in-law situations. Just everyone is lukewarm about each other. Annie has an anxiety disorder and does attend therapy, so it is not entirely under control. She tends to worry about situations which are very unlikely to happen. Annie recently found out that my mom at one point unintentionally spilled something on a bride at her wedding. Now this was decades ago. She was 16 and absolutely obsessed with my father, who rightfully wanted nothing to do with her since she was 16. She was extremely jealous of his first wife and accidentally spilled something at the reception? Annie only found this out because my dad thinks it's a funny story to tell. My mom was a completely bratty, out of control teenager who did mellow. Ah! 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 What are the dynamics there? Okay. My mom is obviously hurt. And she would... Oh, wait. Oh, I missed the line. Well, the issue is Annie now is worried my mom would do the same thing to her. Okay, well, hopefully OP's mother is not trying to fuck OP. Alright? OP's mother was trying to fuck OP's father. OP's mother is not trying to fuck her own son. Come on, Annie. Chill. Chill. I try to reason with her that my mom in no way hates her. And why would she? Annie admits it isn't logical. But claims she can't help it. She says my mom doesn't love her either and some mother-in-laws just get like that. She gets a boundary... Or she set a boundary that my mom can't have anything in her hand if she approaches us at the wedding. It's a little... It's a little menhara. My mom is obviously hurt as she would never do anything like that. I get that it is a hurtful assumption, but I ask her to just suck it up and deal with it. It is Annie's big day, and she doesn't need any stress. My mom said I was treating her like she's crazy for something she did in high school, and it is hurtful. 
My dad, who was paying for the wedding, if it matters, is absolutely furious and currently won't even talk to Annie. I get their point, but I'm still asking them to suck it up and go along with it for a day. Okay. Okay, chat. Oh my god, the fucking lag. YouTube is so <laughs> laggy, holy shit. Is OP the asshole? I would say no. I don't think OP is the asshole, and I don't think Annie is an asshole either. I don't think Annie is an asshole. I think Annie is going to therapy and has mental issues. And everybody knows this. So if she's having some like fucking unfounded anxiety and she can admit that it's illogical, but just once, because it's supposed to be the whole thing with weddings, it's the bride's big day. All right? It's the bride's big day. Just go along with it. Is it hurtful? Yes. Just go, just go along with it. Just go along with it, all right? Like, it's it's only for a day. It's just... She admits that it's illogical. It doesn't seem like Annie has, like, ill feelings towards the mother-in-law. And it doesn't seem like the mother-in-law has, like, ill feelings towards Annie. Just cope with the person's mental issues for a fucking day, all right? Talk about it later. My opinion did skew the poll. You guys were aggressively voting yes, and then I said no, and now you're voting no. Is streamer equals correct? It's not some insane request. It's not. It's really not. It's just don't approach us while you're holding a drink. This isn't like you can't attend the wedding. You can't attend your son's big day because... Hello? Hello? We're back? Fucking YouTube is such a piece of shit platform, Jet. YouTube is such a piece of shit platform, oh my god. Susan hate, Susan hate. Anyways, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I'm curious your reasoning. Those of you who do think that he's the asshole, please tell me why. Please tell me why you think he's the asshole. I'm very curious. Twitch stream tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Twitch hate. Can't wait until Twitter starts streaming? Oh, we could stream on Tumblr. Like, they all, they're all... Everybody in this situation is aware that the woman is Menhera. Everyone is aware she's mentally ill. She's aware she's mentally ill. She's aware that it's illogical. But everyone's like, ah, it's her day. So, it, it, it's the bride's day. So, it's, because you can't baby her just because she has anxiety. She has to get over it. She is getting over it. She's going to fucking therapy. She's going to fucking therapy, dude. What do you mean? This reinforces the delusion. It's one day. It's their wedding. It's their wedding. Why force her to go through something anxiety inducing? It's her wedding. Stop enabling her. It's her wedding. Just let her have it for a day. Who cares? If it was any other day, right? If it's like somebody else's wedding. If it's they're at a movie. Whatever, you know? Then it's like, oh, you can't approach me with drinks. Okay, well, that's... Uh, get over it, bitch. You can't stop me from taking a sip. Fuck you. It's her wedding. It's his wedding. It's his wedding is all. And he wants her. He wants his mother-in-law to just be respectful. And put up with the shit. For one day. Rice Panda, thank you, Tindler. It's off topic, but I can't stop myself anymore. I must support the pink funny bunny. Also, have you ever played Minecraft or Ark? I would love to join as I have too many hours in those games to count. Well, there is a Face Connect Minecraft server. I think it's for people who are channel members only, though. Raska, thank you, $2. Baba Booey. Ember, thank you for the $2. OP is lucky if Annie is right. 
Um, we're killed in here though. One unless I was dying, my mom cured me. But, oh, I read that. It's like it's a wedding. You fuck David. David, what the fuck? Really? Come down. Yeah, it's not the mother-in-law's wedding. That old bitch. <laughs> When will it stop? Next would be holidays. This isn't a slippery slope. It's the woman's wedding. Just give her one. TK, the Goofy Lords. It's Annie's big day, not the mom's. Yeah. Annie should man up. She should... Listen. It's her wedding. The husband agrees. Or is okay with the situation. And she wants... To just have as little anxiety as possible. Ideally, you only get married once. So, I... I don't know. Maybe I empathize more because I also have pretty fucking bad anxiety. Correction, it's their wedding. And the husband agrees! Echo noise, anger dealers. Mom gonna send someone else to do it now? True. True, she is. How is this even an issue? I don't know. Why did this get brought on the Reddit? This is... <laughs> why did you bring this? I don't understand why these people bring these ones to Reddit. His father is paying for it. And they're being rude to his wife. Well, his father doesn't have to pay for it. His father volunteered to give them the day. It doesn't magically become the father's day just because he's paying for it. They could take out a fucking credit card or whatever. And then with my doors. Hey, Pippa, it's my birthday tomorrow. I have bad anxiety and I request you not to step on stream. Please, it's just one day. Fuck you, it's my stream. Thank you for the $5. John Garrison, thank you for the doors. I think you're going to assault me. Why are you taking it personally? Wait the prayer, thank you for the I let them spend the moment and go elope. Uh, music and fiction thing, Dolores. Mother-in-law equals Alabama, but it's son plus daughter-in-law's day. Do it. What? 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 Okay, let's see what- let's see what what it says. You're the asshole. I have an anxiety disorder. It isn't up to other people to accommodate my distorted thinking. Your fiance is experiencing distorted thinking. It's her day! Just chill! Your mother has never done any harm to your fiancé and holding the bratty actions of a teenager over their head 40 plus years later is ridiculous. We don't indulge disordered thinking. We use coping skills to see that thinking for what it is and then employ even more coping skills to tolerate distress. Why put her through a distress situation on her wedding day? The wife is making baseless assumptions. She is! But that doesn't change it! Why is one thing to let's happy birthday, Pippa? Thank you. But it's not my birthday. Pippa being typical. What? Yeah, it's a simple fucking request. She's asking them not to go. No, she's not asking them not to go. She's asking them. She's asking them not to bring the fucking drink over. Correct. Going along with this just reinforces the problem. Soft, why? Soft, you are the asshole to you both and maybe find a better therapist if they're supporting these actions. Oh my god! As someone with three family members that have anxiety approaching this level, fuck therapy. Get Lexapro. What? 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 Bitch, what? Yes, this is simplified. Not everyone is the same. Yada yada. But there are really effective medications out there, and the answer is no way therapy. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> um, excuse me. Yeah, get drugs. Go on drugs. Then fuck therapy. Just take drugs. <laughs> <gasps> Holy shit! That's a fit. That's a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! They're the guy thinking If it's your day, you can fund it yourself and attend just the two of you. Oh my god! Such a petty response. Dad thinking come to beep beep beep. Moderator Marzi thinking for those. Hey, I saw this on Twitter. Got reported a few times. Don't let them deplatform you. Also, you should play the game Red Faction Gorilla. Yeah, th somebody's on the. Uh... Well. Good opportunity to show. If you'd like to show me a little bit of extra support, that'd be greatly appreciated. Because right now, there's a there's an angry Twitter hate mob trying to take down my Twitter account. So, any love is appreciated. Apparently, joking about killing yourself and joking about killing others in an obviously satirical manner and including the phrase in Minecraft at the end is not enough to stop Twitter's moderation from fucking you in the ass. The Maravine! Thank you for the $20. Take money, Rabbit. I'm going to bed. I got work tomorrow. Well, I hope you have a good day at work and sweet dreams. Thank you, thank you! The Dick Slayer thing, but there's wedding equals bride's day. No questions. I mean... It is both of their day, but it is, like, culturally the bride's day. 
Paul didn't say anything about the line. You should read the one where the bride wanted the trans kid to put on a dress for her wedding. OP did not like her. What? That thing come to pee pee. Um. Later, guys. Oh, I read that. Uh, Juan Esteban Marling with the 225. Arr! It's a couple's day, not just hers. Also, she's annoying. Wouldn't put up with her in a lifetime. In neither <laughs> mother in law's nor husband's place. Oh my god. It is their day! But, like, culturally, like, oh, it's the bride's big day. You know, like, a wedding means more to a woman than it does a man, alright? And to act otherwise, you're a fucking idiot. You are intellectually dishonest if you try telling me that a man cares just as much about the wedding as the woman does. Don't even fucking start. Sexist? Yes. That's a hard thing, five dollars. The new term is graduate yourself or graduate from life. Uh. Whoa, LinkedIn dollars. Twitter, hey! David Hunting, Julius Bride gets the day, <laughs> Rome gets the night. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a that's that's a way of putting it. That's a way of putting it. <laughs> okay, um, she also gets his bachelor party. I guess a woman gets his bachelor gets her bachelorette party as well. I don't like those. I feel like that's wrong. Does anybody else feel like there's a very strong moral issue with the bachelor and bachelorette shit? I don't like those. They make me very uncomfortable, and I've never understand. I've never understood why they're so like. The wide appeal. I don't get it. I don't get it. it. Feels like cheating a bit. It does. It feels like the purge. It's the purge. There's one purge you get before your wedding day. It's so it's it's uncomfortable. By now it goes angry with my This whole Reddit thing seems like emotionally stunted people who think their therapist trying to give advice on other emotionally stunted people. Real. And I, an emotionally stunted person, and making fun of them and acting like I'm superior when, in reality, I'm very emotionally stunted. Some weird guy thing with a five dollars. Well, well, well. If it isn't Pip King Pepsi, if you could either have the power to shapeshift or become completely invisible, which would you choose? I'd become invisible and I'd steal stuff. Full stop. Maybe. Or maybe I'd take the shape-shifting power and I'd still use it to steal stuff. <laughs> I... 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 <laughs> right? Because then I could become like a mouse and I could like sneak into my neighbor's house and see what they're up to, you know? But try it down. Thank you for the... Five dollars! The woman wears white because it's the best day of her life. The man wears black because it's the last day of his. Oh, that's deep. Rare Pippa W. Well... I'm not a klepto! I'm not a klepto. Listen. I could become a bird and I could fly. I could become a mouse and I could sneak into my Yoshi's house and watch them sleep. I could become... I could become... Um... The President of the United States and... Kill... The real President of the United States. Maybe... Maybe I shouldn't keep going with that one. But I'd be killing myself, and I would not be killing the real president of the United States. Haha, <laughs> this was a little joke. Don't kill me. And I could become an Area 51 security guard. And I could sneak in and see what's up. Pink commando thing, but those modern therapy is BS. is all enabling an affirmation. <laughs> Oswald. <laughs> Oswald was in the CIA. Amplification thing, three, three, three. Yeah, it's 2023, Pippa. How dare you be so sexist? It's uh, also the man's day. Check your privilege. Really? Thank you for the five dollars. Speaking of in Minecraft, I'm gun pilling my aunt tomorrow about the range. Advice for concealing my power level and not talking about the glowies. Um, talk about it in cool action movie terms. Find out what movies she likes and be like, oh yeah. Find out what find out what celebrities she likes. Right? Be like, you got you got to appeal like, oh, you like you like Chris Pratt. Well, here's what. Oh my God, you know Chris Pratt's favorite gun is this, right? Easy. Rusty Wild and come beep beep at the secret fetish. I like to watch. No, 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 no,
Uh, my sister's future mother-in-law had schizophrenia and her boyfriend <laughs> once tried to grill a beer can twice. I told my sister, well, I think your boyfriend is going schizo mode. My sister didn't talk to me for three months. What? What? <laughs> you made a schizo joke and she didn't like it? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> is, that, is that what happened? Okay. <laughs> yeah, congrats. Anyways. That belongs on the subreddit. It belongs on here, yeah. Um. Anyways, how many people? Yeah, 167 people saying just do drugs. You need therapy with the Lexapro. It will magically solve your anxiety or depression. Yes, I used both, especially depending on the cause of it. Also, it's really hard adapting to living with Lexapro. Been there, done that. The drugs, the fucking oh god. I don't trust the drugs, chat. I've not had good experiences. Excellent legendary hero, thank you for Small brain, Mary for love. Big brain, Mary for tax purposes. Also, Pippa, are you one of those people who like dark chocolate? Also, mayo or whip? Mayo or whip? Like Cool Whip? I like Cool Whip better than I like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise tastes weird. Also, dark chocolate. No, I don't like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is okay in very small quantities to like highlight another flavor. But on its own, dark chocolate is terrible. It's terrible on its own. Also, why not marry for both? Marry for love and tax purposes. There you go. Best of both worlds. Uh, I don't understand how that is relevant here. Lexus Pro is a medicine, not a poison. What? Oh, what are they getting into? Oh God, yes. Please get into please get into the debate about pharmaceuticals on Reddit. I, I would love to witness that discourse. I like Facebook discourse better because it feels so much more aggressive. Facebook discourse is fantastic, chat, because you'll have, like, 30 people <laughs> reacting with an angry emoji, 29 people reacting with a laughing emoji, uh, there's three people with a like emoji, and then, like, the, 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 the people responding to it are like, I don't know why you guys are laughing at me! And then another person is like, <laughs> and, and they just... Facebook is full of assholes. Facebook is perfect for watching assholes yell at each other. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. I hate Facebook. Um, okay, talking about suicidal thoughts and stuff. All right, that's kind of a side tangent. Um, info, your mom when 16 Yeah, 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 yeah focusing on the right shit here. Your mom, when 16 years old, was at your dad's first wedding and was so obsessed with your dad that she spilled a drink on the bride's dress. OP, please come back. OP, please come back and explain. Please. Please. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. And then he later married, or at least had a kid with that then 16-year-old. Well, she wasn't 16 when they had the fucking kid, you idiot. She wasn't 16 then! I mean... Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. There was an interesting question, an interesting discussion to be had. Now you're just like... Ah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Okay, next one. <laughs> next one. You guys voted, they are the asshole. See, I disagree. She was 17 and a half. She was 17 and 364 days. And the, the clock was at 25 or 20, 25. The clock was at 23, 40, uh, 59. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, okay, here. Bam, bam, bam. Am I the asshole moving in with my parents? It's a very obviously loaded question again, but all right. They are not going to be intellectually dishonest at all here. Uh, I am 30 and my wife is 32. Am I the asshole for asking my wife to move in with my parents? Okay, yeah, no, never mind, you are, yes. We just had a baby. Our finan... Our f fiancés? You mean finances? Our finances are out of whack, and the rent just increased. She made it clear that she wanted to move... She doesn't want to move in with my parents under any circumstance. But when I told her I can't afford the rent, she counters by telling me to get a raise from my job. Well, it's that easy, and everything will figure itself out. I told her that if we can move in, we can get... We can first get rid of the debt problem. Second, start 
helping her to save for her retirement since she has nothing saved. And third, start an early saving fund for my son's education, but she keeps saying no. And I've been looking for a cheaper apartment and been asking for a raise at work, but nothing. Am I the asshole for not wanting to sign the lease and move in with... Am I the asshole for not wanting to sign the lease and move in with my parents? What? You changed it at the end. You changed it at the end. Are you the asshole for wanting to move in your, your parents? Yes. Yes. Yes, you are the asshole. I don't know. I'm. She should leave him. Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna ask you that. Okay, before I get too much input. Are they? Pippa, what the fuck? I mean, this guy's a moron. This guy's a moron. Can she just get a job? She should just get a job. She should just get a job. Unless he led her on with like the idea, oh, you can just be a housewife, baby. Don't worry about it. You'll just be a housewife and I'll take care of everything. Okay? In which case, he, he's, he's an asshole. She should get a job. Um, especially nowadays that it's easier to find like work from home jobs. He's an idiot, not an asshole. Yeah, I guess it's better as he is he an idiot. Because he is an idiot. The newborn should get a job too! Think about his fiance though, I know. She's the asshole in this. Nah. Nah. She should leave him? Yes. No mercy, chat. No fucking mercy. No mercy, here's my line of reasoning. Here's my line of reasoning, Jen. As a female... As a female... I don't believe in him. He's demonstrated he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> a woman moment. He's a fucking idiot. He doesn't even know how to spell the word finances. And he wants them to move in... With their parent, with with his parents, instead of just moving to a more affordable area, instead of moving to a more affordable area, his immediate thing is, yeah, let's live with my parents and we can save for all these things. Well, if you can't afford rent, what makes you think you can afford to save for all these things? How long exactly are you planning on being stuck at your fucking parents' house, huh? It's a loser move, chat. It's a loser move. This is, this is, this is a beta male chat. I'm just gonna say, just get a raise, bro. She is stupid for thinking he can just get a raise, but they should live better within their means. Instead of just moving in with the family. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. He is a beta male chat. He is a beta male. Doesn't say how much debt. It doesn't say how much debt. Pippa L! Pippa L! Pippa woman moment! He's a beta male! He wants to move in with his parents! He wants to move in with his parents! Instead of kicking his ass into gear. Fuck that. Fuck that. I think that's pathetic. Pippa going full woman. I'm going full Sigma grind set. I am in favor of Sigma grinds that I think instead of moving in with your parents like a little bitch You work harder, you work smarter And you continue to have your freedom and independence And I feel like he failed his wife By putting them in this situation She also failed She also failed I don't know where the debt came from I don't know whose fault the debt is I don't know whose fault the debt is she should get a fucking job too. Yeah, she needs a job too. She should get a fucking job too. <laughs> Why are you following me? I'm right! Pippa, you're not Andrew Tate. I'm not Andrew Tate, but Andrew Tate does have some right ideas. And now I'm thinking with the $2. Dude's trying to make sure his family is financially stable. That's smart. He said he can't find cheaper apartment or get a raise. Moving in with parents, last resort. Big L here. There's no way they can't find anywhere. How fucking poor are you? That like, there's nowhere else you can move into? You have to move in with your parents? I just don't believe that. There's plenty of lower end housing you can move into. There's plenty. 
California. Okay, well, they're in California. I don't know. I don't know. I I feel like cheap equals ghetto. What's wrong with the ghetto? What's wrong with the ghetto? You too good for the ghetto, bitch. Surprising with the two dollars. Pippa, you live with your parents. No, the fuck I do not. I moved into the ghetto, bitch, because that's all I could afford. And you know what? I'll take that over living with my family any fucking day. MK Ultra Victim Link, if I'm always in times like this, surviving is thriving, Pippa. <laughs> I feel like this is a skill issue. First of all, you shouldn't have had the child if you couldn't afford it. I'm a big believer in that as well. You should not have had the fucking child if you couldn't afford it. That is a fucking... That is... That is... That is zero brain. <laughs> zero brain. You have debt. And you're in your 30s. And you had a child? You're dumb. You're dumb as hell. Wrap it up, bitch. Back on noising. Let's pivot. Have you tried not being poor? Have you tried living within your means? Because that's that's the thing, Jad. That's the thing with a lot of these fucking people. Is they're so unresourceful. A lot of these people are so fucking unresourceful. I just don't trust it. Ah, oh, they moved back in with the parents. Are you really? What are you struggling with? What are, what are you struggling with? She, they can't afford the rent. How can they not afford the rent? Is it because the baby is costing a lot more money? Well... Cut corners with the fucking childcare, all right? Cut corners. Your wife is staying at home. Which means you're not paying for a babysitter. All right, real pimp reveal. They're not paying for a babysitter. <laughs> the rent went up? Wait, where does it say the rent went up? Can't afford the rent. Get a rate. Where does it say the rent went up? Oh, and the rent just increased. Oh, okay, okay. I missed that part. I don't know, man. There's so many. There's so... Listen. I feel like... My opinion, chat. And maybe... maybe <laughs> trailer Park Queen Pippa. Yeah. Okay. Maybe... This is... This is... Poor friend mindset or whatever, chat. But listen. I think... A big problem... With modern society, chat. Or just society in general. Historically. Forever. Is a lot of these fucking monkey brain losers think they're too good to go to food banks. They think they're too good to like contribute to a community and then like take. Listen, this is one of the good things about churches and shit, chat. This is one of the good things about like like Facebook, like local communities and shit, chat. A lot of these people think, oh, I just need to spend a bunch of money. If I just spend more money, I'll get everything that I want. No, the problem is, is you keep fucking spending money. And instead of doing things like going to going to like the local local church food drive or whatever food banks or maybe like volunteering some time in exchange for goods, you're like, well, I can't afford it, so I guess we gotta move in with our parents. You are you are not self sufficient. And I worry for your child. Hold this real quick, Al Shut up. Shut up. I normally dick ride you, Pippa, but I don't know about this time. I feel like you are not setting a good example for your child. And granted, the child is a kid, so. Too good to move back home temporarily. Purple Pioneer, thank you, Deluxe. These people never do it temporarily, though. These people, loser mindset. Loser mindset, chat. They never, they never move back out. Because then it's like, oh, well, why don't we just get like a big family property? And why don't we just. Or they hop on the welfare. Alright? Listen. I have seen it. I have seen it. They go on a downward spiral. If you let yourself slip up. And rely on like the other people's financial goodwill. To fulfill your desires instead of struggling. You're weak. You're weak. WEAK, chat! They're weak. That's how I feel. Cycle of dependency, yes. It goes, oh, well, let's live with the parents. Blah, 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 right? They live, live with the parents. Then what? 
Oh, well, I still... You know, it's been three years and I still haven't gotten that raise at work. Oh, wow. Jeez. Well, maybe... Maybe you should start looking for another job. The wife doesn't want to get a job because she's lazy. Because she's been conditioned to think that the life that she's living is okay. <laughs> the man is incompetent. He doesn't even know how to spell finances. He's never gonna get that fucking raise. <laughs> He's an invalid. They're gonna slip up. They're gonna go soft. And they're gonna rely on their parents and they're gonna ask for their more and more from their parents. And it's weak. It's a weak mindset. Scroll already! <laughs> I'm teaching you guys a life lesson! <laughs> TK is for the $2. Food banks exist for a reason, seriously. They do! They don't. PC is for the $1. They probably don't even pinch pennies by going to Goodwill or look at clearance section for deals on good stuff. They probably don't! They probably don't! I can't afford rent. We should move in with our parents. How about you cut your spending? Uh, Big Mike thing for the Lord. No way they couldn't have made cuts and sacrifices to stretch dollars. Dude can always get a second job too if the mother absolutely can't work. Binary goes thing for the $5. The pink rabbit is right. I've seen plenty of family end up slipping down this path and never climbing back up. It's stupidly common, chat. It's stupidly common, especially in poor communities, chat. It is stupidly common where people get a taste of comfiness. And they're like, ah, I'm gonna coast on other people's goodwill forever. It's lazy. It's a lazy mindset. Christian thing with the 527. Having kids with no money is... Is bad, yes, but there's nothing wrong with living with a family and a housewife. This is negative 50 IQ American atomization thing. I feel like other cultures... Do have it right when it comes to taking care of the elderly members of your family. But I don't believe in the older members of your family taking care of you. I don't. Once you become an adult, you're a fucking adult. When you can get out of the house, you need to leave the house and you need to sustain yourself. Alright? Your parents should not be taking care of you when you're fucking 30. You should be taking care of them. You should be sending money to them. You should be... You should be... They should have one less thing to worry about when you're out of the house. Not that they should... They should not be worrying that you're gonna come back and be a baby again. That's a hard thing with Dolores. He can dump the child in the dumpster. Dump. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dolores. Would you choose me or a potato? What? I don't even know you. Malcolm Lee, thank you, Dolores. Opie is a slacker. They don't even. They need to sort their stuff out. Houses aren't free. Also, there's electricity and water costs with more people in the household. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna get shark and then come big pee pee. Lost the house and moved back in with my parents after a rough divorce. Managed to move out two years later after bettering myself. Happily married again. Well, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. You're a rare success story. Going to the food bank isn't weak? What are you, a hobo? What it's there for, bitch? It's what is that? The food bank? You temporarily using the fucking food bank to cut on spending? It's literally there for that. This isn't like, I'm gonna live on welfare. Fall insane, thank you for five dollars. You're right, Pippa! Do not want to move back in with mother. I just hope this guy turns her back around and his wife will probably try to make... What? Pippa, I know. There you go! By that logic, what's a family for? The, your family takes care of you when you're young, and then when you get older, you take care of your family. Spencer, thank you for the Lord. The struggle you're talking about led to the debt and depression that eventually took my father's life. His life insurance finally paid it off. Oof. Doesn't work out for everybody. Euthanasia clinics. Oh my god. That's how I feel, chat! Anyways. Let's see. Info. There are no other choices. Like a less expensive rental elsewhere? Does your wife work? Fair warning. I've never personally seen a marriage survive moving into a parent's house when their spouses were not in agreement. Not saying it never happens, as there's much in the world I haven't seen firsthand. Just saying everyone I've seen like this, they split within a few years. My wife works! But she's been doing part-time since she doesn't like to deal with traffic since she gets anxiety! She's weak! She's weak! They're both weak! They're both fucking weak! Hell no. Hell no. They're pathetic, chat. He's pathetic for taking that excuse. She's a pathetic for giving that excuse. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, that's why Kirsha doesn't drive. Well, Kirsha actually fucking does something. This bitch can't afford her fucking place and her child. And she's like, uh, yeah, just get a raise. Nah. Take some self responsibility, bitch. Take some self responsibility. That's the real reason they have no childcare costs. I wouldn't give you that job either and just ride out the slow time, saving hundreds of dollars every week, not having to pay in childcare. From reading the comments, it does not seem that OP is carefully avoiding people's qu From reading his comments, it does seem that OP is carefully avoiding people's questions about how they'll pay for childcare if his wife gets more hours or picks up a second job. Putting their child in a paid nursery could easily swallow 80 to 90% of their second wage, if not all of it. Even if she got a standard full-time 9 to 5, like he suggested, you're potentially looking at anything from 50 to 75% of mom's wage going slowly, solely for nursery and daycare provision. OP hasn't said he's willing or able to manage the child care while his wife does a second job. If they live with his parents, then maybe you'd get free daycare of... Maybe you'd get a free day of child care out of them? Fucking... Embarrassing, chat. Fucking embarrassing. I hate this mindset. I hate this mindset, chat. Maybe you'll get some free shit out of your family if you go live with them. You're embarrassing. That is an embarrassing mindset. You are you are taking advantage of your family. <laughs> I just... But that can be a big ask. And since parents still have a mortgage, it's possible that one or both of them still work. So it might not be able to offer much anyway. I do empathize as they are really... As they really are low on options, and from a global perspective, rent are becoming completely untenable in many countries. But it does feel a bit like OP is thinking, if we move in with mom and dad, that will magically fix everything, and perhaps that isn't... Hasn't thought things all the way, though. I agree with the last part. He has an option. He has a second gig. He doesn't want to work. Oh! Ah! Oh! Jen then come big pity when her hours drop... Previously, he had a side gig job. How do you know so much about their life? Are you stuck in this thread? You fucking... Oh my god, how bored are you? He doesn't want to do it this time, so his solution is to force her out of the unicorn job. The what job? Out of a unicorn... And ignore the paying for childcare part... Unicorn... Oh, is that like one of those jobs that pays really, really well? Huh. And ignoring the paying for childcare part and move back in with mom and dad. Dream job. Ah, oh, dream job. Uh, I think his wife is saying no to moving in for multiple reasons that he has clearly been avoiding. Okay, so it's a dream job. <laughs> Feels like we're missing some critical info here. I feel like they could just move somewhere cheaper. I feel, I feel like they could probably move somewhere cheaper. If they can't move somewhere cheaper, then they need to cut their fucking spending. Part-time dream job. If this is some cringe shit, like she's working at an animal shelter or something, it's like, Oh, well, I know I only get paid half of the minimum wage, but this is my dream job, working with the puppies. Well, go get a real job, bitch. You have a child to take care of. I don't know, man. Have you considered moving next to your parents? If that's possible? Potentially move next to your parents? So... If your parents are willing to do daycare... You will have that? I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's a difficult situation. I'm not saying it's so easy as like, Oh, we'll just move. Cause trust me, I know how fucking hard it is to just move. But... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It seems very extreme to just jump right fucking into living with your parents again. It seems, it seems very... Ah. Uh. Oh my god! Okay, here's a really fun one. Hold on, Chad, I just found a really fun one. This, this cannot possibly be divisive at all. Oh, this cannot possibly be divisive at all, Chad. Let's take a look at this one. Will I be the asshole if I told my wife to not name our child that we had to abort? This is gonna be fun! <laughs> Holy shit! This can hold me out of Okay. Will 
I be the asshole if I told my wife to not name our child that we had to abort? So I, 30 male, and my wife, 28 female, had to abort our first pregnancy due to complications at five weeks. The baby was ectopic. What does that mean? My wife really struggled with the decision as she really wanted to keep it, but due to our circumstances, we obviously couldn't. She was already in a dangerous position. Okay, so they had to abort the child's life in order... Oh, outside the uterus. Okay, so they had to save... The woman's life. Was that a, a, made out of ectoplasm? It's dead? Okay, so they didn't have a ch- <laughs> Die, die, they didn't realize the name of the child Hope. Shut up. Okay, so... Uh, sounds like emergency removal. Ectopic is not an abortion. Okay. It's been about a week since she had the termination, and she came to me after we both came home from work saying she wanted to name the lost pregnancy. I feel super weird about it. what the as I feel differently than her when we found out about the pregnancy, and I told her as much. I never really thought about it as a baby as I'm trying not to get attached to the thought of what could have been, though I didn't tell her this. She, on the other hand, is very attached to it, and she even told me about a dream about a little toddler boy she had. And is sure this pregnancy would have been that little boy. I'm torn about the whole thing as I don't want to get attached, nor her get too attached to what could have been, so we can try again in the near future. So Reddit, will I be the asshole if I told my wife not to name our lost baby? I realize referring to the baby as an abortion baby was extremely insensitive. Edit, yes, you can put this on TikTok. Too many messages. You're a, you're a complete dickweed. <laughs> Holy, holy shit. This is bait? This is just depressing? This is hella depressing. Is OP the asshole, chat? Let her grieve. What the fuck is your problem? Just let her grieve. It's depressing. He's the asshole for posting this on Reddit? True. Don't encourage her? What is wrong? What is wrong? That was her child she lost. That was her child. If she wants to give the child a name and think about what could have been, let her go through the process of grieving. Take for grinds that. Oh my god. Jesus. Napalm Ninger, the two dollars, let her name it. Naming it changes nothing. It doesn't. It doesn't change anything. Terminator, shut up! <laughs> oh my god. Yes, it does. Read the update. Okay, what does the update say? Uh, we talked and agreed it's probably the best we go to therapy more often. We already do, just not often. I also want to say thank you for all the love and stories of your own experiences. My wife and I very much appreciate it. She said she feels a lot less alone. Some of you all were right. She was mourning the loss of the future we could have had. And after our talk, I slept on the name idea. We did decide to nickname our, our little... I agree to let her give the name... Give them a full name. I agree to let her give them a full name, but we picked out a nickname for the time being to help us grieve. I thought to share it as everyone here helped us both so much. Our little nickname is Leaf. Okay, well, that's sweet. Okay, well, that's sweet. I'm glad that he... thought it through. I do feel like, in his defense, it was probably a gut reaction. A fucking leaf! It was probably uh, a gut reaction. Feels fake? I don't know. Pretty great thing you were the five voice paper is not a person until it becomes self aware at around five. What? <laughs> I mean, he was probably he's probably going through a lot of shit as well and struggling to deal with those emotions. It's so weird to post this shit on Reddit, though, I feel like. I don't know. Napalm thing for dollars. If refusing to create problems and naming it changes nothing, it's only logical to let it be named and move on. Name it Cletus the Aborted Feast. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? God! It's so fucked up! It is sad, you can never use that name again, though. 
Unless you're one of those people. Have you guys seen those families that will like they'll name like three children the same fucking thing? Have you guys seen that shit? I don't understand that. Family some families they'll name their children, they'll be like, okay, your your Charles, your Charles too, and your Charles Jr. It's like what? I'll be like, your Charles, your Chuck, your Charles Jr. What the fuck? George, George, and Georgie, yeah. I know a family of all Nicks. Probably. George Foreman. So easy, you my doors. You don't name a tree you had to chop down because it was ruining your sewer system. You chop it down and maybe make a nice table out of it. What the fuck is your problem? Jesus! Crampus ain't your 211 Pippa married me. I have my own place and no debts. Well, guess what? I don't have any debt either, bitch! Nipom, thank you for the. Alright, I read that. Um. David Hunt, thank you for the $2. Didn't Van Gogh get a complex from that? From what? Was he named after somebody? And then siblings would send him? Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. <laughs> Using every part of the animal. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, that one's probably really sad. So... Am I the asshole for defending my cat after my mother-in-law was incredibly rude to him? Huh? Huh? Chad, this is like my thumbnail! This is like my thumbnail, chat! Oh, boy. Am I the asshole for defending my cat after my mother-in-law was incredibly rude to him? My... Female, 24. Boyfriend, male, 25. And I recently moved out and got an apartment together. It's been great and we even adopted an adorable kitten who's so sweet and cute. However, I do admit that his personality can be too much to handle sometimes. He's very affectionate and cuddly and, lo and loves to always be in people's company. He's also very vocal and curious, so he always walk he's always walking around looking for new adventures. My boyfriend's parents, f female 55 and male 60, came to visit for the first time last week and I made dinner, etc. How do, how do people remember this shit? Do they just guess? I don't know how old my parents are. I'm sure I could do the math, but like... How do... How do... How do and they just don't matter. Who cares? They know we have a cat and they were okay with it. However, when they were over, my cat kept trying to hang out with them and rubbing against their legs, etc. And my mother-in-law aggressively pushed my cat away and said that she was going to lock him in the bathroom to teach him a lesson. I immediately told her that she was acting like a child and she needs to calm down. It's just a cat who's being friendly and he wasn't trying to annoy her. But she said... She wasn't staying if the cat was going to be running around. So I said, then go. If It's my cat's house and she's a visitor. So I, I have no obligation to lock him in the bathroom. Because she wants to act like a toddler. Even if I were to put him in a separate room with his food, water, and litter, it wouldn't work because he wouldn't stop meowing. As I think he has separation anxiety. He ended up leaving and now my boyfriend is mad at me saying that my reaction was uncalled for. Am I the asshole for defending my cat? <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make a poll for that. Alright, hold on. This is so <laughs> It's my cat's house, yeah. OP Was it mother in law? I think it was mother in law. No one. Everyone. Who is the asshole, chat? Yeah, mother-in-law. Boyfriend. Wait a minute. What do you mean, mother-in-law? It's your boyfriend. First, I think it's a cat. Therefore, not the asshole. Okay, on one hand... I hate... On one hand, I hate people that are like, Well, it's my cat's house, so you have to be nice to one. Blah, 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 blah. Right? It's, like, it's a fucking cat. Lock the cat in the goddamn bathroom. All right? Come on. It's a fucking cat. Chill. Just go put it in the bathroom. Who cares? Who cares? It's a fucking cat. What do you mean it's it's the cat's house? Shut up. The cat's not a person. The cat is not a fucking person. All right, idiot. On the other hand, it is their house. And if you're going to come into my house, then you should you win in Rome, right? Win in Rome. If I'm over at your house and you have an annoying ass fucking dog and you make me deal with your annoying ass fucking dog that's like jumping on me and shit. 
I can understand because it's your house. But at the same time, if I was in that situation, I would also wish you just put your fucking dog away. You know? Just lock the dog in the fucking backyard while I'm over instead of letting it jump on me and shit. So I feel like... OP is the asshole. For not being accommodating to our guests. That's how I feel. Scrap saying the ten dollars. We're only getting a fraction of the story. If someone tells a story where everyone else is unreasonable except for them, they're lying to you. I mean, the mother-in-law in this situation, like it's written against her, but it's not doing that though. Stop being cringe, Pippa. <laughs> I feel like take the path of least resistance. Whoever gets along with their mother-in-law anyway, though, I mean, that's true. Um, aggressively pushed my cat away and said she's gonna lock him in the bathroom to teach him a lesson. This doesn't seem very threatening. This isn't, like, aggressively? Aggressively? She's probably just treating it like it's a fucking cat. Because guess what? It's a cat. It's not a child. If you said this to a child, I'm gonna lock your child in the bathroom to teach him a lesson. And you push the, the child over. It's a cat. The, the cat, the cat probably doesn't even notice. The cat was probably like, wee! Alright, and she didn't kick the cat or whatever. She pushed him away. Shouldn't handle an animal like that. But like... What do you mean, pushed him away? I don't know. I don't know, it feels so dramatic. My main- the, the, the crux of the issue here is OP feels very fucking dramatic. But that has no feelings! What? <laughs> Animals have awareness and a depth of memory. I'm not saying to be an asshole to the cat, but like aggressively pushing a cat away. What'd she do? What'd she do to the cat? Did she like shove the cat lightly with her foot or whatever? Like, ah, woof. Come on. Come on. Come on. It sounds like she was joking. It sounds like she was, it sounds like mother-in-law was being, like, dramatic, but in, like, a very non-aggressive way, right? Like, I'm gonna lock him in the bath. I'm gonna go lock this cat in the bathroom to teach him a lesson, right? Not like, I'm gonna go lock this cat in the bathroom to go teach him a lesson. Right? Just chill. Just chill. She went full validity on the cat and hooked it across the room, yeah. Pippa, you're acting like Lumi right now? Oh my god. Aggressive push is not kicking. Yeah, it's like aggressively pushed. I want to know. I want to know the aggressive push. I want to know what happened. It's so overstepping. Mother-in-law is in the wrong for like trying to boss the woman around in her own home. But like. Your cat's pestering your guests and your guests don't like cats. Then move your fucking cat. Like Kaiser thing. $10. I'm going to lock him in the bathroom. No, you do not come into my house and make threats. Whether to my cat or anyone else. And you do not order my house around. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I guess it also depends on like how good of terms they're on with each other. Cause like... If, the, if you don't really like know this woman... And she just comes over and she... Fucks around with your cat, like... This... That's gonna hit different. It's gonna hit different. They're guests, they should just fucking deal with it. Well, what's wrong with being an accommodating host? Can't spell castle doctor without cat? Oh my fucking god. I don't know. Lost Roji in the bathroom. <laughs> the fur babies, you know, fur babies. I don't know, this just seems like such a non-issue. Chat, it feels like, you know what? You know, it feels like a fucking non-issue. Just go lock your cat in the fucking bathroom, all right? Lock the fucking cat in the bathroom. You confront the mother-in-law and be like, "Hey, you know, I will go lock the cat in the bathroom, but maybe don't hand, don't don't boss me around in my own house. You know, maybe this is my house, and I would appreciate it if you treated my property with more respect, right?" Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Beta vibe. Cool, not being confrontational. Just, just, just handling things normal. Pets are property now. That's literally what they are. Pets are literally property. 
Unfortunately. I do think it sucks that pets are property in the sense that, like... People tend to... There's very, like, low standards for animals. There's very low standards... ...of living for animals, especially, like, rodents and stuff. Pets don't have souls. Oh my god. Helmet, thank you for the $2. Daddy, ghost is live on the bottom line. Ghost? Neil Creo, thank you for the $2. I think bigger thing is that it's a kitten. Napalm Butterfly, thank you for the $2. It's subject of whoever you value more. Accommodate them. Pet or mother-in-law? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It feels weird to me. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hold on. Let me try and look at the comments here. I'm curious what... I'm curious what Reddit is saying. I'm very curious what Reddit is saying... ...to this situation. Okay. I'm probably gonna get dragged for this, but... ESH. Okay, I don't... Oh, everyone sucks here. More so, your mother-in-law. She shouldn't be aggressive towards your pets. That's true. I agree with that. But not everyone wants your pets all over them. That is also true! I personally do. Can't get enough of pet love when I'm visiting someone, but I can also recognize that not everyone feels that way. True! If your pet is bothering someone, you should stop them from doing that. True! If you're not willing to keep your pets off guests, then don't invite guests. But don't expect everyone in the world to like your cat as much as you do. Based! I'm with you, and I also agree you'll get dragged for this. Mother-in-law was rude in how she handled the cat. True! However, OP is totally obsessed in the way she sees, talks, and... ...about and treats this kitten. Not everyone feels this way about cats, and not everyone likes to be touched by animals. Lastly, and this... And this is crucial, there were her boyfriend's parents at her boyfriend's house, too. She can't kick people out like that when it's a shared home. <gasps> Wait, is it the boyfriend's house? Recently moved out and got an apartment together! So it's not just her house. Well, it is her house over it being the mother-in-law's house. I don't know if that's, like, entirely fair. Like, just because the mother-in-law is, like, the boyfriend's relative does not suddenly make it her house as well. So I don't- I don't know about that. I don't- I don't know about that. But, still. Lock bill! Mother-in-law in the bathroom for a lesson? Oh my god. Ah, oh my god. Boyfriend's mother over OP's piece can't? Who pays the rent? We need to know- Who pays the rent? They have the actual say here. Who pays the fucking rent? Uh, it's not unreasonable to put your... Oh, she didn't kick them out. She refused an unreasonable accommodation and they lo... Unreasonable accommodation! Just lock the cat in the bathroom! What do you mean? My cat has anxiety issues. It has... My cat has separation anxiety. Lock the cat in the fucking bathroom. You fucking moron. Lock the cat in the fucking bathroom. All right. My cat... Lock the cat in the fucking bathroom. You are insane. The Chandon thing to Lois. How is she a mother in law if they aren't married? Good question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like the difference between quitting and being fired. Oh my god. Shut up. Background noise thing to Lois. What are the rules for visiting Pip Manor? Um. If you look at my bunnies the wrong way, I'm legally allowed to murder you. You can't catch anything to lies. Bias, Pippa hates cats. Oh my god, I don't hate cats. I just am a bird person. I'm a bird person, chat. I love birds. <laughs> Which I feel like, chat, I would just like to I would just like to get something off my chest. Bird people are truly the most oppressed. We are truly the most oppressed members of society because every time I go and watch a stream or whatever, they're like, ah, I hate birds. And I'm sitting there just traumatized, <laughs> upset, ready to cry because somebody that I look up to said that the objectively superior pet is either scary or freakish or whatever. And you know what, bitch? You're weak. You're weak. You're not ready to accept the fact that I am a dinosaur tamer. I have a little dinosaur on my fucking shoulder and you're, meanwhile, worshipping a satanic false idol, which is a cat. That does nothing but kill and murder other creatures like my little dinosaurs. But my big version of my dinosaurs, like emus and shit, could eat your cat. Which would be based, because fuck your cat. Stop killing the local birds, I hate you. <laughs> 
Pet over bird? Apex predator, let's go. Okay, well, what about if I brought a fucking emo into the equation? A military macaw, chat. It's venom thing, but there's spiders over birds. Nah, man, birds. Birds all the way. Birds all the way. It goes top of the food chain, right? Birds. Second, dogs. Third, lizards. Fourth, livestock. Like, like, horses and sheep. Fifth, cats. How little do you think, Chiloy? I'm only paranoid of birds pooping on me. Yeah, they'll do that. Xander, think of Chiloy's <laughs> Nick Rackets says birds are not real. He's a liar. Fuck birds, dogs, better. Birds number one! Birds number one, bitches! Anyways. I think it's common courtesy as a guest to respect someone's home and its inhabitants. If a kitten is, for instance, climbing on someone's legs with its claws, then by all means, kitty is going for a little trip into the guest bedroom. Which I would initiate, but if it's just being a kitten, like, dude, you have to grow a pair of chevro legs. I'm gonna... Where's the gun, chat? Where's the gun? Where's the fucking gun? I hate this fucking website. Kitty! Chevro legs! Shut the fuck up. Y'all can get up and go t make some coffee in the kitchen and chat or something. But if anyone got up and said, I'm gonna lock that cat in the bathroom to teach it a lesson for a mere rambunctious, my response would be, well, my visit is over. And walk away with the cat because I wouldn't want to be in a room with a controlling bitch like that. And I also wouldn't want to leave Kitty in a room with someone who obviously can't be trusted to treat a small animal properly. Please go outside. Please. Please. Please shut the fuck up. Please shut the fuck up. How old are you? Are you 13? Are you are you 13? Two years ago, maybe you're maybe you're 15 by now. Maybe you're 15 by now. I don't know. Well, well, this was posted to your council. You know what? Yeah, you're probably 13. Shut the fuck up. No, oh, Canada, this is not Papa. <laughs> the pen is in with the five dollars. Grow a pair of Chevrolet legs, Pip. <laughs> Holy shit. This is what cat people are like, Chad. This is what cat people are like. You, you, you still like cats? You still like cats? This is what cat people. 125 updates. Yeah. See nothing about those birds. Some birds are cowards. Get the true dinosaur, the alligator. Ooh, I would love an alligator. Oh, God. Not everyone likes to be being touched by animals. Mother-in-law shouldn't have said that, but really shouldn't have gotten to that point. It sounds like the cat was bothering her for a while. They should have put it in the other room for the remainder of the visit. They were inconsiderate hopes. Agreed! Hi, disagree. Like OP said, this was Kitty's home! Mother-in-law is a guest! I'll admit I'm biased because my cat is both my baby and terror! Shut the fuck up, fur baby mom! Shut the fuck up! But if anyone told me they were going to lock my parsley in a room by herself for the crime of being social in her home, I would have responded the same way. You're insufferable. You are fucking insufferable. You are either going to die alone, or you're going to... You you. Oh my god, you're gonna date a fellow fucking Redditor. Uh, plus, it doesn't sound like mother-in-law asked OP or a partner to get the cat to leave her alone. Cat just wanted to make friends. Is a kitten and probably still learning and could have been redirected. And said mother-in-law went for lock the smallest, most vulnerable family member away by itself. Option. It's a cat! It's a fucking cat, bitch! Family member, it's a cat! It's not a baby! It's a cat! I can't. I can't. I can't. My little fur baby. How dare this evil, controlling, cunning, naiving bitch ever try to lock my little parsley. My little itty bitty fur baby. I'm a fur mommy, you know. Lock my little baby baby inside the little bathroom. Oh my god, they're so innocent and vulnerable. They could never survive. That's why I have to work from home. Because if I had a job, if I had a job outside... I just don't know how my little baby would survive. My entire life is based around my animal because I don't have a personality of my own. I just I just have to live for my animal. It's the most easily identifiable identifiable trait. And it's the only way I can bond with other human beings. I can only make friends with fellow cat lovers because it's the only thing we'll fucking talk about. Because cat people are fucking insufferable. 
little PSA. Oh, holy shit. Um. The blue thing for the $15. Heck and fur baby Tongarino! Woo, woo, nuzzly, wuzzly! Stop thing for the $5. I guess we know who Pippa chose in Monster Musume. Musume. Sorry, but Slime Girl is one over Harpies. Background noise thing, Dolores. Fur mamas really love white wine. Super Azzle thing for the 147 says, Rabbit lover, learn to love, Pippa. My rabbits are cute. Your cat, your cat's a little fucking ugly ass piece of shit. Fuck you. I love my bunnies. My bunnies work as paper shredders. What does yours do? Listen, at least mine doesn't give me toxoplasmosis, bitch. My rabbits are clean. They're not giving me fucking parasites unlike your shitty ass animal. Fuck you. Cats are disease spreaders. They're worse than rats. John Garrison, thank you for the Lord. Says the woman who has mice in her house. Shut up. My cat is dead. Guide. <laughs> Time for thinking for dollars. That was not very mogu mogu of you. <laughs> mogu mogu. Um. Fifth venom thing or the two dollars. Purge the sky rats. Uh, the blue. Oh, I read that. Kill thing with two dollars. When are you gonna do full ghost and have can sounds? Almonte then come big pip. Hey, cats eat mice. Birds are useless. No, my bird works as a paper shredder. Oh yes, please send the Miss Super list. We're gonna we're gonna start on that. The hard thing with Dolores, my, but Pippa, my cat has separation anxiety and autism. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, Napalm thing with Dolores, you like red barb? Trying to thing with Dolores, it's toxoplasmosis, Pippa. Yeah. D listen, here's the problem with cat people: is they're corrupted by toxoplasmosis. If you had a dog, you wouldn't have this fucking problem. <laughs> How much paper is Pippa shredding? <laughs> All of it. If it has any, if it has any of your information on it, it should be shredded. Zion thing with Dolores. Pippa, my cat died. Let's go! Give up. Why did she jerk in thing with Cat's a leader when she dies. The first action thing with Dogs and chickens are based. True. Chickens. Listen, chickens provide a valuable resource. You eat egg. Chicken provide egg. Chicken is bird. What does cat do? Give you disease. Mm. Cat L. Chicken W. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. The only cats I think are pretty based are like lions. I think lions are really badass. I have like a whole plushy collection. I, I just recently bought another one. Little lion. Well, it wasn't a plushy. Ah, what I do? Everything, everything minimized. Holy shit. I just bought a little white lion figure from Schleich, I think. Next thing, thing people, chicken is a farm animal, not a pet. Chickens can be pet. Fuck you. Chickens are wonderful pets. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum. Oh. Eh. There we go. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Anyways. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I go over lions? No, lions are way cooler. Lions are way cooler. I don't understand tigers, Chad. I don't understand people preferring tigers over lions when lions are like objectively the most coolest thing ever. Do tigers have harems? I don't think so. Same thing. Dolores got a kitten a few months ago. He's a jerk. Eat him. Eat him. Lago de Fuego! Thank you for the five dollars. Is barely functioning. A word is starting work at Safeway soon. The other Walmart. A tribute to my Yoshi who kept me sane while unemployed. You know what? Safeway is fucking amazing. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Safeway is fucking amazing. Congratulations. 
Be sure to pick up some jalapeno cheddar bagels for me. Because Safeway is fucking amazing. Lion over tiger? Hell yeah, lions are way cooler. Lions are beast, yeah. Kindle Ninja, thank you for the 420. Where the fuck is Pippa's pit streams? Twitchy thing with three dollars. I like pigs. Do you like pigs, Pippa? No. Laura Mitz and Dollar Link with the 129 Mexicans. Opossums eat mice and also scorpions and roaches get opossum. Yeah, opossums are truly the ultimate pet. And the other thing, two dollars, but chickens belong on the plates. They are in the plates and on your hearts. Seriously, for those tigers, remember faces and will hunt poachers for years. Mega based. Based or petty? I'll ban it. Thank you for the 629 free eggs. Um, Morrison Quivero, thank you for the $5. You know what's crazy? The fact that 11 billion crabs are still missing. Still 710, thank you for the 333. Woman moment meets Reddit moment. Very dangerous. Astro Pidgey, thank you for the 420. To my dearest Pippa, did you see the recent statistic that 112% of ATF agents' wives' boyfriends hit them? Also, cow go <laughs> fucking eat, you femboy. What? Miss Venom, thank you for the $2. Lions are inbred cannibals. Leopards better. This is slander. Finally, OCD, thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> cats are usually the ones that start crap with my dog. Street cats currently are peeing near my house. I'm not happy with cats. Also, jaguars, best cat. Jaguars are pretty cool. The fact that jaguars can swim, that's pretty badass. Also, jaguar. 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 <laughs> like, that's just a. That, fuck. <laughs> that's just a cool ass name. That's just a cool ass name. Jaguars are sick. I also like jaguars. But lions are cooler. Rex are awkward thing. Two dollars. Pippa likes white lions. So Botan's him. Hell yeah. Full heart dragon thing. Two dollars. Convinced me to get a cat. Didn't convince me not to. Cats are very low maintenance, <laughs> and they also don't love you. So don't get one. Get a dog because dogs love you. Red room everything. Two dollars. I vote in every circumstance. It's the redditor. Wanna go thing? Five dollars fake because me towing the boss would have been more profitable. <gasps> Sigma grind set. Mal, they also do anything for those. If you want to go check, if it's bait, check their account. If there's a history of this, then bait. Checking comments also helps. Yeah, that's so much work. Then there are very anything for the five dollars that will steal from the IRS in return. PNB thing for those breaking news. Local long-eared rat doesn't like cats. Shut up. Uh, John and English, thank you for the five dollars. The actual beast cat is a jaguar. They take out alligators in their home turf. That is pretty badass. That is pretty badass. Cats are quiet though. Oh, fuck. No, they're not. Fuck. No, they're not. Okay, Mama Kin had this cat, right? Mama Kin had this cat. And it decided that I was its human. So this cat would come into my bedroom and just sleep on the bed, sleep at my feet, pester me, whatever, right? Come nighttime, I'd want to get some fucking sleep. And this little shit I would close the fucking door, right? Like, oh, I'm gonna get... I'm, I'm gonna close the door so I can sleep. So like when when my parents leave for work and stuff, you know, I'm I'm uninterrupted. Blah 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 blah. Right. Also, it just feels safer to sleep with the door closed. Anyways, this little fucking rat would go up to the door and start pawing at it. And then, <laughs> I don't like this tent. Hold on. And I'd let the cat out. And I'd let the cat out. I'd let the cat out of my room. And then it goes back up to the door. So I let the cat back in. Fucking annoying. Fucking annoying. Fuck cat! Keystrokes, thank you, Dolores. These people have brawls at Disneyland parks, probably. And for a crimson thing, Dolores, OP is worse than Satan. Need some thing with one dollar. You drink ant infested soda, Pippa. Eat the damn toast. <laughs> Your cows are. It's not my cat! It was not my cat! Secret ticker thing with the two dollars. Children also have poopy hands, true. But Santa Barcon thing with one dollar. Salmonella is a myth, to be honest. I don't believe you. Slow, but basing with Dolores. I need it. My stomach is lined with lead. Heck on anything, Dolores. This is the first one that this house up. You know what I also don't like? I don't like using silverware at other people's houses. Because as somebody who is very lazy when washing dishes and doesn't like thoroughly scrub them, I don't like the idea that I'm indirectly kissing whoever I'm at the house of. 
right? Like, if I use your utensils, I might be, like, indirectly kissing you or I'm eating, like, whatever was left over on your stuff. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Feels wrong. Yeah, I tell them they were Skill issue. Shut up. Dishwasher, Pippa. Not everybody has a dishwasher. Most people don't know how to use their dishwashers. You're literally overthinking it. I'm literally not. I'm literally not. Big Helio, thank you. 135, local man found dead asking <laughs> the red stones. Why would you put that on my head? You're welcome. Randall, thank you. Two Lords, fresh eggs have special coating. Music and fiction, thank you. Two Lords, not the arsehole, but can depend on the culture. Grams, thank you. Five Lords, I would definitely eat it to make my cousins happy. Love them. This dude isn't a bad guy, though. Thanks, boys. Eating a wonder. Happy big new year. Tell Bird Prisoner I said egg, 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 egg. Juan Esteban Marl, thank you. The 263, Pippa, you don't have to wash them to preserve them. You wash them to eat them directly afterwards. Are you deaf? You don't wash the eggs, chat. You don't watch the eggs, because... You don't. Anyways, we had this discussion already. Mr. Eternity singer, do like, screw cats, but Pippa, that's how you get more cats. Oh my god. George Verdani, thank you for the 198. Just got here. Why are you reading cringe com? The Nervine, thank you for the five dollars. I saw someone kill someone else with an egg once. What? Why do I... I like... I like... I like... Ooh, oh, well, I'm gonna read super chats. Full tilts. Holy shit. Why am I like this? What's something with two dollars indirect kiss from utensils? You're such a weeb! Shut up! TK thing with ten dollars. Fun fact: cats have been referred to in various European languages as roof rabbits, usually during sieges and other times of food scarcity, because cats like roofs and rabbits are food. What? Wait, the first thing with the year of the rabbit starts on January twenty second. You're a canard thing with two dollars. Great bait, mate. Poison thing with a uh, five dollars. That's a bait. And Barry, thank you for five dollars. Mistress honors the plan. Cheating brings dishonor. Shameful. Barry T, thank you for five dollars. They get an F for creative writing. Billy Witch Doctor, thank you for the five dollars. Yeah, but also this is bait. Thanks, Lakati, thank you for the two dollars. Most of this sounds like B tier Darman video. Yeah. Garrett, Game Freak, thank you for two dollars. Hello, pee pee, pee pee, rabbit, pee pee, pee pee, pee pee, pee pee, pee pee, thank you for the five dollars. I accidentally killed a cat when I was little. I watched it squirm on its back and its eyes go white. It scarred me as a child. What do you mean you accidentally killed a cat? What the fuck did you do to it, Julian? Julian, what the fuck did you do? Chad wife thinking one dollar, you know, if you marry a woman, you get a dishwasher for free. One something thing of the two dollars in oh I read it. He killed it, obviously, but how? But <laughs> how? How? Julian! I'm looking for him in chat. I don't see his pulse. You have worse vision and one eye, Pippa. That may explain the lean. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. One of my eyes is kind of fucked. Could that really cause it? Could that really cause it? I killed Julian. Sorry. God damn it. What did I do? You killed the cat, Julian! We want to know how! Sensacal, thank you for the two dollars, but that's an upgrade on the fair! <laughs> Grand Phoenix, thank you for the two dollars. It sounds like an episode of Mori. Third we're done, thank you for the 790. The fuck is a mistress? Is he a butler or something? That's the other thing with the 420. I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I would bet forty dollars right now that there is no mistress. She does not have cancer. The gift is from a co-worker who is nothing more than a friend. It's all fabricated for up dudes, and she's just insane and has trust issues. Rick Payne, thank you for 135. Up votes are die trying. Well, there you think for the $2. She beat Betty White. The guy should be proud. Serendipitous thing for the $2. OP is, but only because he uses Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Reddit. There are rain. Thank you for the $5. I still don't understand how any of the first paragraph ties into this. Sebastian Cervez, thank you for the two eighty-five. Just shove it in her face by saying, yeah, I guess not all families can afford to maintain the family business. I guess not all families can afford to maintain the family business. A family business. Also, it is their wealthy... <laughs> oh, what? Well, their wealth ultimately, right? It's not a public offense, yeah. J they should, uh, uh, the guy who got accused of nepotism should just flip the script and be like, Oh, I'm sorry, your family's too poor to afford a family business, bitch. Julian for Lord, I was a stupid kid if I hit it with a racket trying to get it down from a tree. Oh, Julian, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, yeah. Kids do dumb shit, Julian. You didn't mean to kill the cat. You made a mistake. You learned. It's unfortunate what happened, but you weren't... ...trying to hurt the cat. 
same thing for Dolores. My mom accidentally drowned her cat because it jumped in while she dumped laundry 20 plus years ago when it still feels awful. Yeah, Jesus. The thing I don't like... So I had, there was this guy I played D&D &D with, right? And I fucking hate people like him. Who we'll fucking treat shit so lightheartedly. Or like, make it like a funny thing. Like, haha, yeah, I killed cat. This guy told me the story... ...of how... ...he had a cat... ...and he had a cooler. And he accidentally... ...locked the cat in the cooler. While he was... ...while, while he was like putting beer and stuff in there. The cat like trapped itself in the cooler... ...and he didn't realize. And he kept telling the story. And I kept saying, like, dude, okay. And he's, like, laughing about it. Like, it was such a funny, like, this, this stupid fluffy white cat, man. Locked itself in the cooler like a fucking idiot. And it's like, dude. It's not funny, man. It's not, it's not funny. Yeah, it's only funny if the cat lived. He's coping. Ow. He kept telling the story. And I was like, man, it's not funny. It's not funny, dude. People laugh to call. Well, stop telling the fucking story. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit yet. I recognize the fact that animals die. Okay? I am totally cool with hunting. I'm totally cool with like, oh, have to put the animal down to end its suffering. Whatever. I don't want to hear about it in like a joking manner. I don't like the shit. Where's the funny? Yeah, where is the fucking funny? I don't like the shit. It's like, oh, yeah, haha. -ha. Oh my god, yeah, so I was trying to eat this octopus alive and it was just squirming and it was like gripping at my face and oh my god, it was, it was oh my god, an octopus, oh my god, and, the, oh, and I was making lobsters the other day and they were just screaming, oh my god, it's crazy the the sound that lobsters make while you're boiling them alive. And I'm just, I don't like it. I don't like it, Chad, I don't like it, I don't like it. It feels malicious. It's not... Something's dying, why do you think that's funny? It's only funny if it's a person who did it to themselves. If it's a person who did it to themselves, fuck them. That that's hilarious. <laughs> Kitty can Pippa. I'm not saying I'm wanna murder the animals. Juvenile least and come big peepee. The tag was random thing. Five dollars accidentally locks a human in a cooler. Whoopsie, I did a funny. Uh, TG thing with 135 nepotism is when your dad is Joe Biden. The narrow worrying thing in the fact is I'm still a virgin. If I had a wife and kids, I have far more things of concern. What? Lane's hard thing with five dollars. It depends on the level of nepotism. I've possibly got an opening to a trade job because I'm part of a vet's club. Is it wrong? Maybe? Uh, who cares? Take the job. Same old thing with two dollars. They should have just said, yay. So what? Background noise thing with two dollars. I like Pippa's debating tactics. Um. Raven, uh, Ryan Glasner, thank you for doors animal cruelty heat, Darwin Awards love, yes. Um, George Berdani, uh, thank you for the 395. Reddit was created so we could easily identify Redditors. Ina Murray, Kazuma, thank you for the and then everyone clap. Honey, the mighty, thank you for How are things today, Sam? Spend the rails, thank you for the $1 Pippa. Help, I just had some ghost pepper beans drinking from monkeys and my deck is on fire! I'm so sorry, I will pray for you. Alaska thing with the $1. There's a cat outside my house. Free food. Do not eat the cat. Uh, that's another thing, though. That's another thing, though. I also do not understand, like... When people are like, Oh my god, other other places eat dogs. Oh my god, that's so horrible. Other places eat cats. Who the fuck cares, dude? Just because it's, it's a fucking animal. Just because it's against your sensibilities. It's a fucking animal. People are gonna farm them... People are gonna farm them and eat them. Alright? It's, it's, it's an animal. It's an animal. Okay? Is it sad to think of people eating dogs? Yes. A little bit. Because we have, like, such emotional attachment to them. But it's, it's... It's an animal, man. Like, don't... Don't... Cows are just as sweet. Horses are just as sweet. Chickens... I had chickens that loved me so much they'd run up to me and they'd sit on my lap and they'd like... They'd like rest their little heads against me and they'd purr happily. Chickens purr, chat. Chickens purr. Chickens get so happy that they purr. So to then be like, oh my god, these other people eating dogs, they're barbarians. Man, we fucking eat chickens.
chickens and they're just as lovable. Fionor, then come big big big! Um, Malevolent Fang, then you'll find the Hey Pippa, do you have a custom playlist playing or did you search for it? I like the music. It is, um... Top 50 most popular songs by NCS. They're sweet animals, they are. Chickens have like three brain cells though. Unless it comes to killing themselves, in which case they have like 20. Chickens are very good at self... Kill. Loving man, thank you Hey Pippa, I discovered you through the Tartarian Truth. PK, thank you 147, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you, Autism. Red remover, thank you the two dollars. Don't pick on Pippa! And heroing, yeah. But have cows sat on your lap and purred, no, purred though? No, but cows will love you and they'll run up to you and they want affection and they enjoy being pet and the like the little butt scritchies and stuff just like dogs do. And they bond with you. Your old canard thing is two dollars. Has she considered becoming a VTuber? Yeah. Uh, John Grayson thinks two dollars. Pippa's brother is a redditor. Mister Your thing for dollars. She'll shriek, clap her hand, cough loudly, sneeze loudly, and just make strange noises that I don't even know how to describe. Identification thing was a 333. Pippa's your brother posting about you. Hard passing with the For fuck's sake, people don't self diagnose for the love of God. Go to a pro. PK thing with 367. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a future Twitch VTuber. Nice civil thing with a $2. Sounds like a Gen 3 recruit. Von Nessa Von Morrow thing with 131. She doesn't have to be neurodivergent or even annoying. Fight with any woman. A man has got to have a strong pimp hand. Where's the love machine thing with the I hate those girls so much. I used to make low hums to comfort myself. I don't even know I did until a friend pointed it out. It took me a hole to stop. Happy Mars thing, two dollars OP is being a good big brother. So the Xlayer thing for the two dollars mental illness is trendy. It is. Does he one thing with two dollars? It is both of their day. This is a massive red flag. Velasca thing one forty seven is OP's mom cute though. These are real questions. A uh, Gustavo thing for the twenty five HKs. Go search Sichuanese rabbit Pippa. Go search it. No, I don't want to because it's probably gonna be eaten. It's probably gonna be boiled rabbit or something. I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at it. Scotty thing for the ten dollars. You go on stream with Medicare and you start... You caught his internet connection. Hey, bye, thank you for dollars. Nothing like Reddit to make me feel like my life isn't so bad. Thanks for the entertainment, Pippa. The other guy, thank you for $10. If it's your day, you can fund it yourself and just attend... Just between two of you. So petty. My name goes, thank you for dollars. It's not that they eat dogs bothers me. It's the way they cause maximum pain and fear. They kill the dogs because they think it flavors the meat. I feel like that's probably an urban legend. I feel like that's probably an urban legend. Just coming from the perspective of somebody who grew up hunting around hunters Where you hear shit like, oh man, yeah people, oh my god, yeah oh, The way the hunters take down deer and stuff, what they'll do Or the, 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 way they'll, the way they'll take down deer is they'll find like a baby deer And they'll like tie it to a fence post and they'll make it call out for its mother And like other deers will come up to it and then the hunter like kills all the deer People, people say shit like this, chat so I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel about that one. People, people take like fireworks and they throw them into like rabbit holes to chase the rabbits out. Blah, 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 and fuck off. Fuck off. People say crazy shit. Brex, I think, with my dog. Oh, another one. People, people, oh, people, hunters will wait until it snows and then they'll go down to ponds and they'll, they'll look for the ducks and stuff that are like frozen in the water and they'll like, they'll like shoot the ducks and stuff while they're stuck in the ice and then, then they rip the, they, they, they grab them by the neck and they'll rip them when their legs come out, blah, 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 whatever. Very exciting with my rabbits can purr too actually, now chat might start asking Pippa purr ASMR. I have not heard my bunnies purr, I have heard... Of honking where they get angry with you. Where they hear that they get angry with you. And they make little honking noises. But I've not heard of bunnies purring. Um. The best badness thing for those. I'm late because of band practice again. This is just talking about stuff I'm too brain dead to have say in. Sorry. Phoenix Gaming thing. Dolores' mother in law can't have lean on the wedding. Sad. Copperhead Snake thing. Dolores, instead of kill yourself, use Canadian doctor appointment. Yeah, I should. That's more modern. Uh, Juvenile Leech taking with the 10 voices. Why you should eat everything. Bull balls and goat brain are really good, honestly. And don't have to waste anything. I think I'm good. Background noise saying, Julius Pippa could eat... Pippa could get all the Pokemon cards for free. How good are they? 147 Pippa facially off her meds. Alex Tavera thinking, Julius, did you hear what happened? The Riso midstream. I have not. Panification thinking, five dollars. I never knew that a York bar is coated in dark chocolate. I hate dark chocolate, but I love York bars. Now I'm questioning if my life is a lie. 
Dark chocolate with su su suicide. <laughs> dark chocolate with ice cream is really good. I don't know where I got that. Okay. Dark chocolate with um. Dark chocolate on ice cream is good. Sometimes. Um. Crossover maniac. Name is the five dollars. The stuff about Chinese torturing dogs to flavor the meat is real. It posts actual footage of dog torture on 4chan. Okay, is this is this like a common thing culturally though, or is this some psychopaths? Freudian slip. Shut up. Okay. Fear adds flavor. Let's see. Fucking Google captcha. Mr. JC thing with $50. There was a video about a guy in China getting his Mali meat stolen from his business and finding out it was sold to a restaurant. He had to sit there and watch the security video of the dog being strung up and slaughtered alive. Sad times. I mean, how do you think they kill animals and eat them? Like, it's sad that his animal got stolen. And it's sad he had to watch it. Hello, Raiders. I was just about to end stream. John Garrison, thank you. We need to wrap a live stream. Has some super chat farm. Oh my god. I don't... I see shit about MSG? I don't know. Um... Torturing animals for flavor. Dog meat festival? Apparently animals that have been brutally tortured to death taste better than those that have been humanely killed for human consumption. Oh, this is that festival thing. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Okay, that is severely fucked up. That is severely fucked up if people are actually doing that. That is... That is... That is... Actual mental illness. Cringe nuclear fan thing for dollars. My parents moved in with grandparents and I'm better for it. I enjoyed knowing them. If I'm one of her thing to they must live in California. Slav Kainiki thing to Is this even OP's kid? Keck! Pachanda Don, thank you for the two dollars. Hire Pirate Dave to take care of your sea tykes. Don't even know Gunslinger thing for dollars. He's on Reddit. Uh, humans are gross. They are. Cars will have many thing to Don't know how common it is. I, I don't know. Copyright saying they were the two dollars. How many subscriptions? Only fans. We can OP cut out. Big Mike, thank you for the five dollars. No way they couldn't have made cuts and sacrifices to stretch dollars. Dude can always get a second job too. If the mother absolutely can't work. Purple Pioneer, thank you dollars. You have a point. I'll do anything other else other than that. Napalm Bonifer, thank you dollars. You deserve they deserve to fail for not trying hard enough. Sebastian Cerberus, thank you for two eighty five. Everything you said is correct, but financially he's pointing toward a better solution. We do not know the details about driven or resourceful he is to jump to conclusion. He's going on Reddit and he can't spell finances. The guy was stupid. The real thing in Flood Dollars, I've moved into my parents' basement so I can send more from my favorite VTuber, Panda the Red Bar. Cringe! What the fuck, Lala? Thank you for the five dollars. It's weak to live with family, but it's not weak to metaphorical vacuum seal your new boss's pee, pee to get the high paying job. No, those are both bad. PC thing with the one dollar. Nick Rochefort said something along the line of live miserable until retirement. Vash PP thing with the one dollar. There's no. A lot of detail, and I'd say you're generally right. However, sometimes when your leg is broken, it's not wrong to use a crutch. Identification, thank you for the $1. I live in the ghetto, and the gunshots are my lullabies. I also save a lot of money on rent, and I... So I have money to spend on dumb stuff. Tommy Salami, thank you for the $10. Bro sounds like he's living with parents. We'll fix everything instead of an actual game plan. Wish I knew where debt came from and why they are too incompetent to save money. If I'm bonafide, thank you these people are pathetic. It's sickening. Sickening. John Dunn, thank you they should buy a nanny dog or a python. <laughs> <sighs> you can't talk Pip as a VTuber. What's your point? What? I guess I'm thinking 25 is gay. We do have tortured dogs, but those are just psychos doing those. We do torture goose or we feed them for flavor, just like the French. Yummy. My... I, I generally have a hard time associating... Like... Just like hyper insane shit with like an entire fucking group of people. Like, it's. I don't know about that yet. Like, oh, like, oh, culturally, you know, these people, this group of people likes to fucking torture dogs to make them taste better. Like, it just feels. It just feels extreme. It just feels extreme to me. Fish thing about those. Pippa's a Jill. Jim, I'd like to F. What? Because it tends to be, chat... 
from my perspective, it tends to be news articles trying to create the most inflammatory statements possible in order to make you mad, upset, whatever, in order to garner emotion so that you'll click on them. And these are the same people that are doing it to you as well. They'll do it to you as well. These are the same people that say video games make gamers racist. He's the same people that video games make gamers kill people, right? So generally, these kinds of things... These kinds of inflammatory statements tend to come from journalists. And journalists are kind of scum. And they just have to get a click. So... There's a video of that festival and it scared me. If there's a festival out there that does it, that's really fucked up. But as, at like, the same way that, like, I'm not going to the local KKK rally, I'm sure there are people that are not going to the fucking dog torture festival, all right? In China, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I dare say most people in America are not attending their local KKK meets. I'm just saying! But you, free, you see fucking journalists, right? And they're like, This is the most racist city in America. This city... This city is full of pedophiles or whatever. Or this city... Um... Whatever. You know, it's, it's the same, same shit. The same shit. The same shit. Speak for yourself! <laughs> Without the proper attack! No, chat! Is that why you didn't show up last week? Shut up! Spider did think that those people eat shark fins and drown snakes in alcohol because their ducks won't work. If they're a myth in a culture, then that culture will ignore logic to follow traditions. Dog thing is true for some people. I'm sure it's true for some people. It's the uh, same thing in America, chat. There's plenty of fucked up shit that goes on. The shark thing is really upsetting. The shark thing is re like boiling lobsters alive, I feel like. ...is really fucked up, but that's, like, culturally acceptable in America. I feel like human beings in general are just fucked up. And it's worth more looking at... ...the people in charge who are fucked up, versus looking at... ...entire nations of people. Upstairs are bugs, though. I don't believe in boiling anything alive, dude. I don't- I don't believe in boiling the lobsters alive, alright? I just... See, and you're rationalizing you're justifying it. I, I don't... Hey, Pumping in front of Dog meat in Korea is called Dulgogi. I was there for nine months. They explained that to me. They beat the death. They beat them to death with baseball bats and or sticks. I'm sure in some places. TK, thank you for the 367. Posts like this really make me think marriage is a scam. Malo Melee, thank you for the $2. Red Remover, thank you for $5. Using family is cringe unless it's for money, job, then it's based, independent, and alpha. Got it. My god. I'm inspired rambler, thank you for the $5. Where do y'all live? I'm buying my disabled brother a home for 30k. Hell, my house only costs $400 a month, including insurance. Country living is cheap. Okay, well, living out in the country is actually more expensive from what I've seen, but. I so badly wanted, like, a nice, like, five acres. Maybe on a creek. Maybe with a pond. Maybe with a barn. I don't know. Just a nice little... Nice little small house out in the country. Something with... Something with decent internet. It's expensive as hell. It's expensive as hell, chat! I'm inspired rambler, I think, with the five dollars. Where do y'all live? Oh, I read it. Sounds nice. Yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it. Everything's expensive as hell right now. Everything's expensive as hell. Five acres. Minimum. Minimum. I'd love something that's like ten acres. If I was a millionaire, I'd buy one of those mountaintop properties where they own the whole fucking mountain. They've got like a hundred acres. They've got like a hundred acres because they own the entire goddamn mountain. I would love that. Lemon loop and rope and thing with the 420 Pipkin Pip. I would like to apologize and at least donate before posting my newest Pipkin Pip art. Mad Lad Striker thing too, his name Hoover Scraps thing. If I'd Pippa marry me, I'm having crippling debt. Hey, Pum, 
building for dollars in Afghanistan. Deploy twice, they breed goats to have big butts to eat the butts, but they keep one to have fun one they don't need that. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. George Foreman, thank you for the one dollar. That's a cat lady. She's gonna dump the boyfriend and become a cat lady in 20 years. And let's move on from the talking about fucked up animal treatment chat. Come on, Necro Banana thing for the list. How about Espanol? Si el Azi es verdad que los pies de Abastan se honesta. No hamra. Uh, Fizz Venom thing for the list. Mother in laws are awful, not the asshole. That's amazing. And two dollars, chop down the mother in law and don't name her either. Louis Jess thing for the 690. Want to tell you the combo that Big Cleared and doesn't want you to know about. Azelestine. HCL 0.15% was recently approved as OTC and studies show it has higher efficacy than Flonase. I don't have my license yet, so legally speaking, this is not medical advice. Yeah, my one thing, then, was that the owner of the house wants you to respect the pets and respect the pets are leave. Honestly, if they really want you at their house, though, they'll accommodate the guest over for the pet. They found that five dollars is subjective. Whoever you like more, accommodate them. Pet our mother-in-law. Neo Kriya, I think it was the two dollars. I think the bigger thing is that it's a kitten. And Gustavo, think it was the 321. What if you were the cat? They found thing of the $5. Screw it, lock the family in the bathroom and set the building ablaze. Ooh, tempting. FC play, there's thing of the $2.45. I don't have a cat, you're, you're making me want one. Bad thing with the $2. How many times has Bird Prisoner pooped in your food drink? <sighs> Too many times to count, and also I can't have open containers around her because she'll rip them off the desk. If I have a straw, she'll rip the straw out of the drink. If I have a bowl of soup, she'll try to take a bath in the soup. She's a little psychopath. Bird prisoner, the bird pr you got you gotta keep them locked up when you're eating. They cannot be trusted. Cannot be trusted. Oh, rats. Uh, well, okay. They were the ten dollars. Not sure why we had to bring <laughs> bird versus cat politics into this. Shaking my head. Happy thing with eleven cats are aristocratic animals. Lovecraft was right. John Garrison thing with the Lord's lion versus ostrich. Checkmate. Rex hog like they were the five twenty seven. Phil probably hates cats because house cats can hunt and kill rabbits. My my cat brought in a pretty wild rabbit one time and had to. On one of our beds, Jesus. Alex Hale, thinking two dollars wrong. Pippa sheeps like Watame are number one. Then building with a 690 Pippa nagging on Reddit catapologist and going into detail on why birds is exactly why she's by Yoshi. Thank you, Pippa. Pippa Paradox name with the 290 birds deserve it. Animals with cloacas deserve extinction. Necro Banana, thinking with two dollars. Habla Espanol? No. Uh, Zender's Red, thinking with the two dollars. Do you know? Did you Brony? Did you know? Jenny Nicholson? Not personally, no. I know of them. Drake Electric Blue, thing of $5. Birds are cool, especially cockatiels, and the way they vibe to drums. Renegade Shirk, thing of $2. Cats will eat her when she dies. <laughs> Colonel Saxon, thing of $2. Dogs and chickens are based. The Acre, thing of $5. It's all fun and games for Pippa till I lock her bird in the microwave and smack on some chicken nuggets. That's fucked up. I don't like that. <laughs> you can't think of 422. Meat is meat, but how you treat the meat before it's turned into meat is important. True. I agree with that. I agree with that a lot, TK. If I'm more friending, I read it. Uh, block number one thing, we're becoming a big TP. Bird prisoner is based in disregard your petty human rules. Bird prisoner is a chicken nugget and she's stupid and I'm gonna eat her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> eat her. I've decided. Oh my god, I thought I was on my super chats, but there's a bunch more I've missed. Think of anything, it's 333! Pippa, please use this for some throat lozenges, because you're going to need it in the morning. Fish thing, the Lord Bird Prisoner, stop filming! I'm going to do it, I'm going to eat her, I'm going to eat the Bird Prisoner! This is the thing with the 420. You know what would help with the rat problem, Pips? It goes, thing about the Lord, Pippa is the only person I trust to raise my child, and this shit proves it! Hugo, it's on, I'm thinking about the Lord, tell Fish, man, we want that Mercada collab! Pippa's personal FBI agent, thinking about the Lord, what I, what's this I hear about you shredding your papers? This is why I can't find them in your trash when I look through them anymore. I need those papers, Pipkin! I'm there! Needs those papers! I can only a little two dollars. Country cats are useful. My cat sure is. Yeah, mousers are okay. Keep on butterfly thing. Did this bird beat Australia in a war? Base, true. The an enemy of Australia is a friend of mine. PC thing one dollar. Fuck lions. We live in Caracal country. Uh John in English thing five dollars. The actual base cat is a jaguar. They got alligators in their home turf. Drake electric boogie thing. Jewel jaguar. Best cat. They hunt caimans. Caimans. If I'm one of our things, five dollars. Seriously, they'll look up the emu war. Australia lost a war against tall birds. Get fucked, Australia! Christian thing with the two eleven. I love jaguars. Would really love an XKRS myself. Tonight thing with the five dollars. You come to my house. Use my silverware to class for kissing you. <laughs> okay, Nikki thing with two dollars. Pippa hands are as cute as Pippa feet. How come Liang thing with the three thirty eight? Accidentally not pay tax. Cool thing with one dollar. Pippa please eat. People eating weird shit like bats. How we got the coop that. 
may or may not be true. I think it was Bio Warfare. A trustworthy ATF agent that you were the one lord. Dear Miss Pippa Pipkin, we've been meaning to ask you about a giant machine gun sticking out of your window. And the neutrino bomb in your driveway. If you could please get back to us to set up an appointment, we would be very appreciated. Appreciative. You can trust us. Back on noise, Angel Lars. Not a legend, Pippa. Plenty of good evidence. Juvenile leasing. And the noise is where you should eat everything. Oh, I read that. Drink, drink. Thank you for the fed lawyers. Eat. Am I the asshole for voting no when you know what? Unionizing because management gave us free pizza. I didn't, but a mere thought. They would think it works for some people. What? Cody Byron, thank you for the lawyers. Boiling the lobster live is literally the only way you can eat them at all. Also, they can't even feel it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Rekka! Rekka! Thank you the two lawyers. China else had a war on birds and lost brutally. Uh, juvenile leaves thing with the $10. Okay. I'm gonna wrap that up there. Jesus, we're 25 minutes over. I think I'm just gonna call it here for the night. I'm sorry, no karaoke. No karaoke! Our name reading, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm tired as hell. I'm sorry. Okay? We some rest. That's it. Okay, maybe, maybe they're reading. Okay, okay, just the people, just the people. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste the list. I'm gonna copy and paste the list. Just, oh, fine. God, I feel bad. I feel bad. Okay, I'm copying the list. <laughs> I need to get a bot that reads off the names. Okay. Wait, let's go. Let's try top to bottom. Pudding! Terminator Legacy, ZZS, Zuhark, Zephyr, Zentetsu, Young Immortal, Ya Boy, Zen Crow, Zenmar, Zalek, Wind Survival, Sudal, Ray Day, Woodsman, Winchester Lock, Will, Wick the Pearl, Waifu is Life, Will, Wahi Games, Box Kiyotka, Rexa, Ockbuck, Veljol, Mash, Velasca, Uncle Butter's Worth, Twizmire, Twin Tail, Tickler, Trip Tick, Tri Nitro Jack, Tom World, Tomato Houses, Tom Fullery, Tile Seller, Thomas Hill, The Angel of Light, The Soviet Chicken, The Big Sweet, The Son of Sonny Hobo, The Raven King, The King of Toasters, Suggested One, the That Video Game Fell, Theater Guy, Tenchi Joe, Tawoli, TK, now Twist, Town Ghost, Swift Sword, Super Condor, Strawberry Pillow, Steven Challenge, Saint Ive, uh, Squishy, Spectre Sandy, some Paul Guns, Snows American, Noise Ninja and Sleepy Projects, Sky Skull Fried Scallion, Shine or Shion, Shion, Change or Mel, Sergeant, uh, Dornan, Scotch Studios, Salami, Salamandra, Sauda, Ryuka, Rusty Row, Rusty Shackleford, Rusty Snackleford, the Dynamic Duo! Roscoe, Rolly Poly Games, Robert Ween, Red, Red Shipley, Red Remover, Random Gamer, Radical Edward, um, Professional Troll, Probilitator, Popcorn, Pill H, Physical Wombat, Pelbo, Parasitis, uh, Petification, PT, North Lord, Orange Cobra, Man on Talk, Old Iron Bottom, Odwin, Not One of Us, No More Please, No My Name, Nekom, No, No, Napalm, Ah! Napalm, Butterfly, Mumber, Zax, Mr. Jubble, Ken, Mr. High Ground, Marley, Mitchell Bader, Mechadoos, M. Carpenter, Matezza, Marcus Vinicus, Manny Sulkani, Malachite, Lurie Hart, Solace, Louis Filet, Lourdes, uh, Loose Change, Lil Swag, Liquid Chris, Lime's Lagarde, Lime Green Joint, Leo Wolf, Liu Chuga, uh, Laughing Man, La Sombra, Lancer, Cuck Wobbler, Kokomoe, Kujo Kaik, Kiki, Kagi, uh, Kali Kitty Cat, Kaze the Kruger of Cause, Krampus, Nine, Kaisi, Kari Kora, Julian, Junior Autumn, Jordan, John Garrison, John Arbuckle, Joe Mama, Joe Lam Joe, Jill 710, Jerry Zappa, Jeff Kima, Jefferson Olvera, JD Cullen, James Jameson, James Yellow Shot, I am Temo, it's Hells, Imposter Flarian, I bought Ian Peter Freely, I'm crazy. Easy Long, Huntman, Hero, Heckmas, Hexers, Ponko, Happy Trail, Griff, Galmachi, Goblin Slayer, Giga German, Gio Rico, Gasly Guess, Gotcha, Gun Weep, Freeze, Fish, Firelight, Alarm Reviews, Fake Rabbit, Evil Leaf, El Monte, Ed Growl and Toad, Ed, Druji, Hamashi, Goru, Don, DJ Eclid, Desu, David, Nine Nine Nahari D O Seven Isation Cramish Uh Crack Toad Cody Byer Cypher Sid of Antioch Chris C D Nonsense Cactus Blood Bladetto Brian uh, Brandon Tarulo Brandon Bungo Bingo Tango Mango Black No Bla oh, Black Number One BK The Wish Doctor Berserk Rage Belmont Balico Beef Pie Bad Latency Background Noise as a heart as a thought ALMO Auxiliary Character Arak as Dax A Ascended Weave, Arid Erica Bro, Arab Niero, uh, Inertion, An Angry, Mokyo, Angel of Wrath, Anna, Andy, Ottoman, Another Destroyer, Amari, Alice, Amin, 
I always say Maniac, Alfonso, Agastavo, Agorist, Aegis, Actual Prisoner, Ah, Ah, and Fifth Venom. We're not leasing with the $10. We're... Oh, I read it. Okay. Uh, and, and, and... Oh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm coming. Okay. Oh, it's a cringe! Good night. No secret karaoke, though. Good night. I don't gotta find somebody to write, though. The face one people read your name! Oh, 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 oh. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh my god! We're waiting, my little brother. We're waiting, my little brother. So he does not speak English very well. So be nice to him. He's playing Valorant. So maybe stream snipe him. Be nice to my brother. That's a cringe! Oh, and remember to subscribe, though.